Man, boss guy must have been a fucking amateur, huh? What is this noise? Make it stop! There's still some... Go in my pants. What day is it? What time is it? Just woke up. I must speak to Mother Brain at once. Here, you called me. You woke me up. What's the saddest report? Uh huh. Uh huh. I couldn't handle it. All right. Mega Marathon still going. Good. What game is it this time? What did you say? Shogi no Hoshi. Give me the home data game developed by the company that my viewers might as well know as the magical company released on the 31st of October 1991, retailing a 6,700 yen. You're talking about the game with the sound engine using the SMPS Zilog Z80 version with a 2 megabits cartridge size. We're talking about Shogi no Hoshi referencing the famous anime in Japan about baseball. How long you want me to talk more about this game, Mother Brain? All right, well, a couple of these references. Welcome back everybody to the Mega Marathon today we're gonna play Shogi no Hoshi for the first time on stream It's a game about Japanese chess which you might know as Shogi it's fucking hard dude It's it's so hard This is the third stream of Shogi no Hoshi and, and last time we We had a puzzle we got to the puzzle we defeated the first opponent via Cheating through items and we go to the puzzles and now we understand that it is indeed when it says three times 
streamers to checkmate the king of the streamers, including the god blasted AI move, Lobster Gator, Gonzo Wookie, Nikita Lobo, Ace Make 64, Shed Rock Team, Gates, Zelanti, Bio Balls, Mono 69, Station, Mutual Ray, Fankel, Dudu, Fladulato, Gomboni, Jenna, Jameson, Spider Man. <laughs> Sex 12, Eddie DJ Beats, Nikita Lobo, Neo Freeman, Ren Scott, The Majin Zeki, Juice Willis, J3, and Agent of the Oreos. Samson 573, Doom Noob, E Witch, W, J3, and again, Oni Ken we are Shush. And everybody else is too much of a wimp to leave a message in the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat. Welcome! This is my stream now. This is my stream now. How's everybody doing today? It is... Thursday! Perhaps some good Easter food tales are going to be shared in chat today. Perhaps some good food advice is going to be perpetrated in Twitch chat today. Perhaps this, perhaps that. Who knows? Mr. Lockins, OG Sega Steve, many, many tacos. Hello there. Samson, thank you for the 160 bits. And, uh, Gomboni, thank you for the nine-month Arisa. Get right, you and your watch streak. You missed the stream. That's what you get. Gina Jameson scolding me again. I'm told I am to thank Marty Dotson for a grand total of 350 bits. All right. Seems like there's an odd lot of you today. In chat, for whatever reason, Super Ninja Dash, hello there. Hmm. Dude, I have a good news. You have a good news? I finally beat fucking Road Rash today. Haha, uh -huh. only took me three months. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fucked up. Road Rash is a fucked up game. If you want to beat it, difficulty is blasted. And uh, not that fun. <laughs> Great game, though. I would recommend playing just for the first two difficulty levels. Not all five of them. The Genesis 5, welcome back to the stream, Nikita Lobo. Congratulations. You got any uh, new video game quest you are thinking of undertaking next? You had a carnitas burritos with extra carnitas. What does that mean? A burrito with meat? With extra meat? Can you translate this game as you play for us? Asks Hossbags2. Yes. Will I translate the game? That is a different question, and you only get one per year. Wanna play Flashback? Hell yeah, make sure to play the Mega Drive or DOS version. If you play the Mega Drive version, uh, check out the DOS intro, because it's unique. Alright. Now... I have been studying Shogi, not as much as I would have liked, but I had one more study session in between the last Shogi stream and right now. And I've even taken notes. Yes, I've taken notes on a strategy, which I haven't actually finished studying, but that strategy's name is called Demon Killer. Or something cool like that. Something really cool. Shilrai, welcome back! So are we ready to play Shoggy?
Taylor man, welcome back. Marty Dodzo, and I was stole my mother brain. I have to thank you for 350 bits. I don't know when that happened, but oh. Alright guys, however, last stream I let the timer run too much. So now we're gonna look at this vod and see what the time is supposed to be because I have it at 6.17 which very coincidentally is the same length as the previous stream looks like it's well over 8 hours supposed to be 8.38 let's stop it at 8.30 ah fuck it closed that bitch god damn it accidentally closed that bitch Okay, let's just let's just do it like this. A thirty-five forty-three. A thirty-five forty-three. And how many of you know the rules to shogi in chat? Type one if you know the rules of shogi. Two, three, seven. Confirm. Wait, what? What am I doing? I'm stupid. Four, two, three, nine, thirty-nine, fifty. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, nobody knows the rules to shogi. It appears. Avaputi, hello there, Java. You messed the shogi on the last stream, did you, Oni Ken? Oni Ken, how are you doing? By the way. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, let me uh, let me grab that tutorial from last time so that the mods can pin it in chat. So, uh, shogi tutorial. What's the, what's the one, this is the one I want mods to pin, pin my message here, four minute, shogi, four minute tutorial, there you go, just pin that message for me, please, doing fantastic tank, I might have forgotten who that dude was, um, probably not you, <laughs> it, it was either, I think it was, Rolling OD or regular Obby? Uh, really bad thing happened to them. Demons down from YouTube chat. Welcome back. Is that game to commit Sudoku? No, this is to commit Shoggy. There's no Sudoku games on Mega Drive. Maybe there's one on the Super Nintendo. This kind of game is rare to have on the Mega Drive, right? These very Japanese game genres. You won't find a lot of those on the Mega Drive. But you will find a lot of those on the Super Nintendo and other consoles that were popular in Japan. The Mega Drive was never popular in Japan. When you compare it to what an actual popular console looked like, like the Super Nintendo. The Mega Drive was not popular at all. So you have one pachinko game only, as opposed to a million pachinko games on the Super Nintendo. You have very few RPGs, as opposed to a million RPG games on the Super Nintendo. To be fair, many of which suck. Uh, you only have a Shogi game. I don't know how many Shogi games there are on the Super Nintendo, but I'm willing to bet more than one. More than one. You want to learn the rules, Nikita Lobo? Well, uh, we have a pin message with a very short tutorial that will teach you at least the very basics. And then, you know, just watch the stream and you'll probably... Last week was back! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Fish. oh. oh nice! Oh. Oh. Fish. It's a monster, buddy. <laughs> oh, big! Uh, come there, man! Come there, man! A thousand bits! Come there, man! A thousand bits! 
A thousand bits. A thousand bits. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. It's payday sick. Gonna get any good food? Any game? You know, maybe dinner? Three meals a day or something cool? You wanna share? Hello, Rot King. Alright. Uh, now we got over that. Let me grab my notes with my intro. I would like to try. Strats. I called it Strats. And, uh... <laughs> Demon Killer. This is kind of lame, because to follow this, I would have to bring up a YouTube video again, because it's not complete. The strategy is not complete. <laughs> I just I just look at this one, because it, it sounded cool. Demon Killer. You know, Demon Killer. A thousand bits, Connorman. Thank you again. A thousand bits. All right, so this game is extremely difficult. Unless you're good at shogi, it appears. Fish. Whoa, Icarus, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, the rare Goti underscore and Icarus FW underscore sync. We're not going offline at the same time. Welcome, Icarus viewers. Are you, are, where are you guys enjoying over there? Some more Majin. Welcome to Shogi no Hoshi. One of only two home data games actually owned on the Mega Drive, which is a company you might know as Magical Factory. Right, this is the only Shogi game on the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. We have a little bit of a YouTube tutorial pinned on the chat, although I recommend a different YouTuber by the name of Hidechi, a Japanese dude for uh, tutorials in Shogi. I've been watching a little bit of those. And I barely managed to defeat the first opponent last time I streamed this game. I remember Icarus was watching those last excruciating couple hours where I managed to defeat the first opponent who he is a cross-dresser with a bar. He owns a bar. And after you defeat an opponent, you get to pick one of three treasure chests. And if you get unlucky, you then to proceed have to play infinitely until you win a series of looping uh, shogi puzzles. Hours were to be completed in three moves. And I figured out off stream after the failure that you actually have to do it in three moves, but the three moves take into account the AI's movement in the middle. So effectively, you only have one and two moves. That's why I was struggling so much to understand and wasn't making sense to me because it wasn't consistent or whatever. Windows XP shmupping, it sounds pretty dank. Uh, Rot King, I hate you. Um, yeah, I don't want to hear that. First off, you don't, you don't, ah, no, dude. You would have to know how to work it first, but I just really don't want to hear that shit. You don't even know, you don't even fucking know how to spell the goddamn game, and you're here trying to ruin everybody's fun with your stupid fucking save states, dude. With your stupid fucking save states, dude. To me, which is stupid fucking sad state. Don't come to me, which is stupid fucking sad state. I don't want your sad state. I don't want them. I didn't order them. I ain't gonna use them. I don't want to hear any of it. I will find you. I will burn all your games. And I will make you watch all oh, yes, you will watch. Beautiful games. You will cry. You will scream for help as your games burn.
Hello, Mega Cack, Friffin, Vexavoid, Ninja Vitis, Brim God. Coin Tengoku from YouTube chat talking about harassing me and then saying, You look great today. Yeah, no shit. Samhain666, welcome back. At Goatee underscore, here that the Sega CD version of Flashback has CD audio. Why don't you like? I don't give a fuck. There's many versions of Flashback, dude. There's Flashback on the fucking FM Towns. There's, there's a bunch of shit. Just care about the original version. It's not like any other version really adds anything to it. The only thing you need to know is that the Mega Drive version was the development version. And the DOS version adds something to the intro, the cinematic intro. The game is the same. Any difference is a matter of performance, as far as I know, language. Because the game was translated in Japanese and shit. And if you play in the Super Nintendo, not only you get the worst playing version, because it's filled with slowdown and shit, but they censor like the bar. Like instead of a beer is like a cola or whatever, because no alcohol or whatever. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, maybe just go play Flashback 2, you know, if you're brave. Right? All right, adventure mode. <sighs> trying to see one of the coolest manuals on the Mega Drive, which is saying a lot, actually. You go and look at either Sega Retro or the first VOD, where we went through it and we translated it. It has a full-color manga where they make a word pun in which the main character's dad gets fucked in the ass, and now we're going to go and rescue him in the underground Shogi Syndicate. That is the plot of this game, and why our evil, hot, wrestling fan mother is straining us so strenuously. It's a Shedrock doo-doo again. Let's you run through walls. Yes, that's a known um, trick, but you would never do that unless you knew, and that's a speedrun thing. Shogi no Hoshi is not the only Shogi game on the Mega Drive, stupid, says Coin Tengoku on YouTube, asking uh, for trouble. You need to do your homework better. And please uh, teach us, Coin Tengoku, what would be another Shogi game on the Sega Mega Drive. Oh, I'm out of water. Huh, alright. It says here I've been streaming for four hours. Maybe it's time for a break. McCall it would do so much better. Dude, you're talking about a streamer? You stupid fucking YouTube chat asshole bitch little fuck. You're talking about a streamer? First off, he's from Australia. Secondly, the one time he did a Mega Drive themed stream, which was like four years ago, he well. Oh, Oh, Mega Drive shmups! All he did was playing fucking Thunder Force games. Imagine how stupid you need to be to do that. And of course, then he raids because those games are not as good as you think they are. Then you play Thunder Force 4 and just get fucking fisted, anally fisted by every boss that's ever in that game because all they do is fucking fist you with hit scan attacks that you need to memorize. You stupid bitch. Or that time he did all the fucking... Uh, uh, that time he did the fucking all the shadow of the Beast Virgin Street. And then he went to the Mega Drive 1 and he only played the shitty European version. Where has you got the Japanese version that's produced by Victor? And it is much better. So next time you think you got something to me, say to me in the YouTube chat, maybe shut the fuck up. Instead you grab a big eggplant and then, then you stick it up your butt and then you stick it out and then you sniff it. And why that point? Won't you lick it, you fucking bitch? Slice the eggplant up and then you cook it. I'm here playing the only shaggy game I can make a drive, so shut your mouth, sit down, 
Stop being an armchair streamer and shut the stream. Thank you, coin thing, Doku. Hendroid, hello there. Terror van. Uh, no bully, Thunder Force 4. Hey, I grew up with Thunder Force 4. It is not even close. It's not even close to eliminate them, dude. Eliminate them. Um, yeah, it's when I discovered I had a great voice, OG Sega Steve, I just went for it, you know? I just went for it. Alright, I'm gonna be, uh, first to play. Which I'm pretty sure means I am black. So, they call black the bottom, well, we're black, they're white, yeah? Kid the Gamer in YouTube chat, hello there. Uh, I haven't got water, somebody help. Anyhow, let's start the timer. That's appropriate. You have no street rap. Working out with literally kitchen stools made of aluminum cans. Poser. What, you're already changing lane of stupidity? You already dropped the lies you were spouting about how this is not the only shoggy game? Well... Do you care to give me a new reason to uh, listen to you, or are you gonna keep being a bitch? Hey, can anybody jump in YouTube chat and just tell that guy to shut the fuck up? Because I don't want to reach out for my mouse. It's, or maybe just an elaborate ruse to get more people into my YouTube stream, who knows. Maybe I'm just a genius. Genius. Maybe I'm... Okay. Okay. So, the Demon Killer strategy would begin something like this. We'll begin with opening the path for the bishop. And the opponent is doing the same thing. So now we can exchange bishops. However, that's not what we're going to do just yet. But yes, if you open the bishop and they also open the path for the bishop, then you can play Demon Killer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play the knight to 7g. So 7g would be this, to fill the bishop's hole. Why is this 7g? That would be like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, okay, and I'm guessing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Alright, sick. Yeah, you, you tell him. You tell him, get on, coin to go. There's only one pachinko game, only one shoggy game, only one go game, which is like the most rare game I have it. I have to sell it and profit off of it to justify the sum I spend on it. You can't even play alone. You need a local gamer or you would have played it online back then. Finally, there are no chess games, which makes no sense. Well, no licensed chess games. Pretty sure there's a Russian one. Never lose the Rock Pepper Sisters minigame in Alex Kid in Miracle World on my Sega Master System. Say Skid the Game or a YouTube chat. I don't believe you. Does anybody believe this guy? I don't believe you. I think you're lying to me. To, to look good. As a gamer, I think I think that's too good to be true. Okay, so we're supposed to move the horse to fill that hole. Let go, let go, let's go. So now they're gonna Ooh, they're okay, wow. Wow, the AI is doing exactly what Hidachi said on his Demon Killer tutorial video. Huh. So, disclaimer, okay? Disclaimer. I'm trying to learn Shoggy on my off-stream time in order to play this game. Normally, I wouldn't do that. Like, for example, when I played Mahjong for the first time on this channel, I happened to have played a game that was super good to learn, but also extremely long to beat. It took 234 hours, because you just have to rank up and play so much. With that, it was nice to learn and stream. People in chat knew how to play Mahjong, and I got, you know, backseated on the rules. Not really on how to play the game. Now, that cannot happen here. Because I'm not good at chess. I'm not, I don't know the rules to Shogi. Now I do. And literally, I mean, this is a Shogi game. You ain't gonna play a Shogi video game unless you know at least the rules. So basically, I'm skilling out, I'm skilling up. 
because otherwise it's, it's, we're not going to beat this game. It would be in, uh, unrealistic. Toplin, hello there. In more fats. Without save states, says Kid the Gamer. I don't know what a save state is. In this channel, we don't know what save states are. In this channel, we frown upon save states. That's not entirely true. Uh, although it is true, if I'm watching a stream, and then playing a retro game, and then they're using save states, I lose interest immediately. I'm not saying they're shit. They're probably a, bit of a bunch of scrubs, but... I lose interest and I click away. I just, that's just me. However, for the sake of the Mega Marathon especially, uh, no such cheating, because that to me is cheating, is allowed. At Goatee and the score, did you ever get to own an Amiga or Commodore? I grew up with two older brothers. We had an Amiga uh, uh, and a Commodore 64. And yes, I am, I'm too young for that, but I was spoiled and blessed with being the younger of three brothers. So I grew up with a bunch of consoles, uh, but computers in this case, and video games. After that, we went straight to Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. No 8-bit shit. And then, you know, the Game Boy and the Lynx. We had a Lynx, dude. Hell yeah. You're a legend, kid. The game. Well, I still don't believe you. Still don't believe you. I don't believe you. Okay, so the AI is doing exactly what he'd actually promised. Well, not promised, but what uh, that, you know... They say they would do. So basically, this demon killer strategy we're employing is like a trap. It's a trap that, you know, it's trying to get them trapped into something. But I haven't, to I haven't took the entirety of the notes. Which one did, did I like the best? I was very little. I don't remember shit. I have vague memories of Amiga games like Moonstone and James Bond and Aquatic Games. That's about it. That's about it. I, I talked to my brothers after and re-explore the games we had and, and shit like that. Is Shogi by chance the illegal games Schwarzenegger plays in that Japanese energy drink ad? I don't see why this would be illegal. It, Mahjong is the gambling game. Embrace the safe states? No. Become the evil gamer you decide to be? No. That's not being an evil gamer, dude. That's not being an evil gamer, dude. What would be an evil gamer be like? What would be... What would being an evil gamer be like? Okay, so they moved the uh, pawn in front of the rook. This is a rook like in chess, and this is a bishop like in chess. They move the same way, and these are the most important units in the game. The rook is more important. The bishop is second best. Of course, the king is the most important unit. Because it works just like in chess. These are actually the only three units that work exactly like they do in chess. The bishop, the king, and the rook. The, uh, the other ones are either original or have differences. Smiling big, welcome back! Uses hacks and things like that. Mm, yeah, competitively cheating. Yeah. I mean, as long as you enjoy a game, it doesn't matter how you enjoy a game, right? If it's on your own, it's not evil. It's just being a bitch. It's different. You can be a bitch and not be evil. So, uh, looking at my notes, knight to 7g to fill the bishop's opening hole. We did that. And then he played this pawn. Because you're keeping an f8 square undefended left to my moved pawn. So here. Oh man, he actually is a genius. White, the opponent will typically move the rook pawn forwards to attack. And they did do that. So when they move that pawn, you move the left knight forwards again to the right. So in 6e. Ooh. Yeah, right. What do they do now? Okay, so now we trade bishops, I'm guessing. Let's see if Idachi is right. I'm reading from my, my own notes. My own notes. Um, the threat now is to move the knight towards the right a third time and unpromoted fork the goals. Yes, so what uh, that is saying is that because I moved this knight here, I could move it here again. Not only eat this pawn, but I will be forking the two gold generals. Fork is a technical shogi term that means that you're threatening, like you're attacking two units at once. So that's why it's called a fork. So a knight here 
will be threatening this gold general and this gold general. The knight in Shogi doesn't move exactly like the knight in Chess. It does the same L movement, but only forwards. So this knight can only move here or here. So what do the rest of the notes say? So they want to defend a C5 square by moving a silver general towards it. Ooh, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. They immediately just traded the bishop. So we have to play it from here. Wow, okay. Hey, slap factory. What's going on? COD 60 player, 360 player. Mm. Does it make it right any Chinese chess game? Zhang Chi? There is a game that's literally called Chinese chess, Icarus. And I have not looked into it. But there might be one. Ash, hello, Ash. She said hi. Ashley Ash, the streamer of cats. What's going on? Uh, I think so, Icarus. Well, I'm, I'm talking about an unlicensed game. Uh, if the Sega Cops ask, no. But the Sega Cops are cool. They're not like the Nintendo Cops. The Sega Cops, uh, if you ask them to, you know, license your homebrew, they'll tell you, hey, I'm sorry, we don't have people to do that. But hey, best of luck. If you ask that shit to Nintendo, they'll be like, okay, well, uh, what's your bank account number? So that we can submit your poverty and then you stop playing with our IPs and shit. Yeah, it's a lot. I think it's literally called Chinese chess, Icarus, if you can look that up. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay, so now we just do our own thing. Now, remember that in this game, there are items. The fan is like an undo button. The cat scrambles the entire table, so you have to start over. This flips the board, so if you're losing, you flip this and boom, you're winning. But doesn't flip your stolen pieces, which, by the way, in Shogi, you get to play whenever you want. This exchanges those stolen pieces between you and the opponent. This tells you, well, the AI, like, sort of tells you, suggests you a move. And this is the special secret move from the main character that will level up, that we don't know what it does. I suspect it does absolutely nothing. Just a cool effect. The computer isn't RNG or real basic AI. The computer's AI seems to be extremely well-developed, Coin Tengoku, from the YouTube chat. Yes, join the Discord server. There's a new food channel. Don't be lame now. Join it. If you don't join my Discord server, you get an STD on your elbow. You don't want that. Okay, so uh, now... Ah, by the way, in Shogi, you can also promote units once they reach the last three uh, lines. So, he has stolen my bishop, so just wants to trade bishops. And now I can kill it with my silver general here. Can I not? Yes. Okay, so what's he gonna do now? Is he gonna do that thing that he actually was talking about? Yes, to... Ooh, he moved that! Alright. So I can no longer move the knight here to threaten that. However, can I... If I move it here and steal this pawn and fork... Oh, well, the other knight can just kill me. Yeah, okay, cool. All right. All right. So that's, you know, that's, that's, that's his response. That's his response. So from now, we just wing it. The demon killer strategy can no longer be really employed, I suppose. But so what happened now is that we traded bishops. So now I can, this bishop, I can play it wherever. I can literally put this bishop down here if I want to. I can do whatever I want. So let's keep that in mind. Now my opponent is not really attacking with much. He's attacking with his pawn forwards. Which, you know, uh, we kind of want to acknowledge by putting, like, maybe a silver general here. Just in case. So we can defend that. I want to defend that square. But remember, they can also just put down that bishop anywhere. So... For now, we're, we're pretty well defended. If I move the silver general here, the silver general cannot move backwards. But he can move diagonally. 
So this square will be undefended by it, but then it will be defended by this guy. So we're fine. What the Silver General cannot do is move sideways. The tutorial, the really short three minute tutorial pinned on the chat as a comment, a pinned comment, will explain you how the units move. Or you can just ask me. And then pray that I'm in a good mood, right? Okay, so he's moving that pawn to attack my knight. That kind of makes sense. So, um... Well... He can either get that with his pawn, or... Uh, yeah... Because, like, I could play my knight to get this pawn, and then he would get my knight with his knight right here. But then I don't really get to attack his knight with, like, maybe my... Um, I guess I could play the bishop here and threaten all this shit. That'd be pretty safe. Huh. What's up, Duck Admirer? What are you talking about? So, why not do that? You know? If he plays the horse, I mean the knight here, then he can put it here and fork this and that. Or there, and still fork the silver general. And that. Uh, so suppose I ought to move my silver general over there. Because then he can always get backwards. Yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah, I can promote him as well. Mm, if you promote him, it becomes like a golden general. Which means he's threatening the rook, so he has to take it. But he loses that leap forward that a knight would do. So now he's gonna take that with his own knight. Guaranteed. Yes. So that's not good for us, right? We traded a knight for a pawn. It's not very good, but let's make the best of it. And defend as I say the word. So I'm gonna put this... ...baby over here. Okay, that's my silver general. What's he gonna do? He still got the bishop. Ooh. Wait. Huh? He moved this forwards? Okay, seems like. He moved the silver, the other, sorry, the other golden general forwards. Okay. Ooh, I have a great idea here, chat. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna put the bishop on this square. And then, by doing that, I am forking this pawn and this lands. Boom. So, he either... He's gonna lose... He either moves this golden general forwards and... saves this pawn to defend this pawn or moves this silver general forwards. Well, I would have to... He can... Well... Hmm. Actually... I don't think he can do anything about it, because the Silver General cannot move sideways. So, he would have to move him here, in the first place, and then he would just lose the Silver General. And not have an answer. To, for the, the Lance, this is a Lance. The Lance is the coolest unit in Shogi. The Lance just moves straight. Not diagonal, not nothing, just straight up. Or straight down. So I'm thinking that's a really nice strat. Maybe his play back would just to, to, to play his own bishop. And the pawns in Shoggy cannot eat diagonally. The pawns in Shoggy just move forwards. So this is a cool... Um, cool. I'm feeling really good about my new Shoggy brain over the weekend. Hey, you guys have any cool Easter food? My Easter food sucked. So my mother shit at cooking, and my sister-in-law wasn't there, and the sister-in-law didn't bring shit. Um, but I had some good pastiera, at least. The... N N Naples dessert. Ah, uh, let's do that and see what happens. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Huh? 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 That solves nothing! Is the AI gone mental? My mom sucks at cooking. 
My dad's the one that was good at cooking. My, my mom just fucking sucks. She can do like one good thing and that's actually the pastiera. But she bought it because he had like her back was blown up. She's getting old and doesn't walk or do shit or it gets stuck and crap like that. Uh, but many of you are gonna end up like that in a couple months as well. Spicy chicken and egg fried rice tonight. Well, what about Easter, right? There was nothing cool with family, big food over the weekend? Nobody? You had some fucking British, uh, Asian shit. Oh, but you cooked it, though. That's cool. Huh. What's the spicy chicken like? So, like, chicken breast, and what did you add to make it spicy? Is it red pepper, or what is it? Chocolate? Oh, dude. My mom gave me an egg, right? So I had this big, linked, white chocolate egg with a bunch of... Hazelnuts. You know? Great food on Easter here, Coin Tengoku. Well, I want to hear all about it. And... I am... I know my limits. I'm bad with that shit. I will destroy that too fast for my own good. So what really happened is I'm still shit at waking up when I want to wake up. What happened today is I went to bed around 2.30, 2.45 a.m. And, you know, I'm happy about finally me and you guys are all on the same uh, daylight saving um, shenanigans. So I don't have to start stream sooner because of that. And I wanted to wake up at 10. I woke up at 8 for no reason. And I was pissed. So I ate the entire egg. That was left, which was a lot, some fruit juice, and went back to sleep watching Kill Tony. And then I had some fever dreams about like Blah. 1 p.m. Vietnamese foe, we don't bother. Huh. Is it like a tradition thing or just that your family is not gonna bother kind of deal? For Easter, we had roast beef with garlic potatoes and peppercorn. Peppercorn? Peppercorn. What's that like? Peppercorn? My brother is with his girlfriend's parents in Norway, so no family in London. Get fucked, man. For a guy named Smiling Big, you sure are sad as shit. Just kidding. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> I'll cross buns with white chocolate bits in them. Oh. Oh. What type of egg? White chocolate with hazelnuts. It's a hot cross bun, first I hear about it. Just you alone in a hard-boiled egg, it was colored. <laughs> uh, baked ham, potato casserole, fresh bread rolls, green beans, corn salad, key lime, key lime pie? I heard that before, key lime pie. Does that have lime in it? By the way, all this cool food talk, my ad is for McDonald's. Just, just saying. Key lime pie. Why am I opening a YouTube video for it? Well, too late. Ooh, that looks like a cheesecake. Am I right? Perfect key lime pie from Dexter. Ooh, I guess that's why I have heard of it. It's in a Dexter episode. Man, the fucking synchronicity synchronicities in life, dude. It was yesterday. I went to my cousin for dinner and shit. We ended up ordering a burger, and it was called Teddy's Lab. Teddy like in Teddy Bear, and I had the boxes with a cute teddy bear with this laboratory glasses. And then, on the bread, on the bun, was a heat stamp of this teddy bear logo. The burger wasn't all that. It was like a smash burger, it wasn't that good. It was alright, but I wouldn't order again. When I do make a burger, it's so much better than that shit, even if I use the shittiest ingredients. Uh, and just now, look at that Dexter. Truly, this is a simulation and I am the main character. The old NPCs better, you know, be nice. Just close to cheesecake, it does look like that. Godi, did I tell you that I walked past McDonald's, I think it was last week, and someone tried to give me their chips? <laughs> Man, buy a mirror. Buy a fucking mirror. Corn with pepper and bits and jalapeno diced and cooked. 
Okay. Hmm. Pepper? You mean like red pepper? So just corn, corn bits and pepper bits. That's it. Huh. All right. All right. All right. All right then. All right. Now. I put down my bishop, and something really cool is happening here. It, it is pretty funny. It's also very fucking sad. <laughs> uh, I put my bishop down here. And he's threatening my silver general. Which, by the way, I can just eat. Like that. And then he would uh, get it with the knight, actually. That's not good. I just, I just realized that. The AI is not as stupid as it seemed. However, what I can do is just move the Silver Knight away over here. Where he is going to be not only safe, but attacking this pawn. But that's defended by this rook. But anyways, the right move now is to do this. And by the way, my bishop is still forking this knight, and that lands. So we're doing good, I think. I could move this backwards, too, if I wanted. But I feel like... I don't need to play it that safe. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But maybe I will. Fuck it. Okay, so... Now what? Is he gonna play the bishop himself? Ooh... Okay, that makes sense. He moved that knight forwards. So that's blocking my path to the lands. And if I do eat it, I'm gonna lose the bishop to this uh, golden general. Okay. And if I eat that knight, you see how good the AI is? Fantastic Dizzy Easter special gaming we missed. We did? We missed it? Who did it? Don't really find things sad, I guess. Well, you act like your nickname. That's pretty good. Anybody else a sociopath in chat? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I can't get that or this with the bishop, that is. However, I can attack that with my pawn. That'd be it. That's a good idea. Look at that. I moved those two knights to block my bishop. Very interesting. Very interesting. I could move my bishop here. Um, but that I can't really. That's I can't really do shit about it. Let me just do this. By the way, I would say that he's winning, not me, because, I mean, he's rearranged his defense. I haven't. Uh, I mean, if he just puts, like, a bishop down here or something, I have no answer. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'll, I'll, I kind of have to fix that. I just kind of have to fix that. I have no defense should he uh, do that kind of crap. Well, I suppose the Silver General right now is guarding this. Piece, this lot. Hmm. What's he gonna do? Put one here or there, and then move back and promote it. He's gonna lose it. So I think we're good in that regard. Let me keep attacking this. See what happens. I'm gonna ta keep attacking him. Whoa. Okay. Okay. He moved this pawn, attacking my bishop. Alright. Here's my answer. Boom. I'm gonna move it here. Now I'm, I'm threatening this pawn. Well, I mean, that lance would punish me for that. But, uh, what am I gonna do? At least, at least this, is a f this is a fork. Alright. Ooh, finally he played his knight that he had stolen from me. So now that's fork in this and that. I don't like that. I don't like that. He will get one of those two pawns if he wants to. So, fuck. And then that's actually a mate on the king. Whichever way he goes. Huh. Okay, well, I'm kind of forced to do this now. I 
I... Yeah, the AI is just spread out better. There you go. Oh, we promoted. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a big problem. So now this can move like a golden general could, which is a huge problem. Wow. Because it could even eat the bishop, which is now what I need to safeguard. Fuck me. It's not nice at all. What if I just scare him by um, moving my bishop here? Bishop here is safe. It's just looking scary. Maybe it will prompt him to keep attacking with his golden general. Literally cannot do anything from here. It's just looking intimidating. Bioballs. Yeah, this is the middle finger game. I should trigger one of those animations. There you go. Doesn't really do shit, does it? Yeah, this is horrible. I'm gonna lose my bishop. I'm, I'm literally about to lose my almost best unit. I'm, I'm forced to. Look at this. <laughs> if I move it here, it's gonna just take it. Uh, shit. You know? Uh, I have no escape route. God damn it. Well, just get the best unit you can for it, which is a gold general. You know? about all I can do for now. That was bad. The AI is so masterful. Did you see how it, they got me stuck? Like that. Yeah, well, at least I can defend a bit more over here. Not really, but, uh, you know, I can say one of these two pawns. should save this one, because then if he wants to kill this one, at least I can punish him for it. So that's the right move here. Okay, we're not doing hard, but I'm really happy about my game vision. It's so much better. Nobody did a fantastic busy Easter special gaming, you think? Maybe somebody did. Maybe somebody did. Uh, I haven't noticed myself anybody doing that on Twitch for sure, yeah. Okay, so... I should move this pawn so then I can attack this with my rook. And get like my rook out and shit. By the way, he has two bishops that he can play. That's how you know we are screwed. I could play the item that swaps that. And then I have. Oh, you know, maybe the boxes are gonna give you more of that. Sh I should play that item. Am I gonna, do I play that item, chat? Or do I keep. Do, do I cheat? Do I play that? Fuck it, let's play that item. I'm gonna play that. Boom. So now he has a golden general and a pawn, and now I have two bishops. <laughs> Hell yeah, Apple Vision Pro in public. With the middle fingers. Damn. Never seen that. Here. Sword Fam claims to be Dawn Cheat. Wow. Dawn? You're a Dawn of Cheats? Sick. Beep, 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 beep. Let's attack that motherfucker. Wait, you could get that pawn of mine, huh? And I got no answer. Oh, let me put that bishop down then. Just so I do. Oh no. Is this a good spot? I don't feel like it is. Shit. Uh, okay. I know exactly what's going on at the very least. That's cool. Hmm. I guess I don't want to give up our pawn for free, but who cares? Right. Um, shit. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Just do that. Just do that. 
He's gonna get my pawn. I'm not really gonna have an answer for that, but I pushed him back. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. He cannot actually move like that. That's a silver general skill. Oh, I could get that for sure. Oh, fuck me. Huh? All right. Well, uh, try it if you dare. See how that works for you. Got a bishop guarding that shit now. Beep, beep, beep. Move that silver general forwards. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I could put a pawn here to push him back. And then he would uh for be forced to move here. It's not like I can get him there though. It's not like a big deal or anything. If I do that. Mm. However, I can do this. See if he sacrifices that shit. You know? Doot, doot. Whoa, he played a golden general there. Fuck this guy, man. Holy shit. Fuck this guy. Back, retreat. Okay, I could get the oars. Gets that pawn instead, huh? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. This guy's owning me. Again, of course. Uh, again. I am getting destroyed. Shit. Can't lose the rook. I cannot lose the rook. This is the Rook. Uh, it's attacking me with basically with our two Golden Generals. Uh, this is under attack. This is under attack. This is under attack. This is under attack. What I must focus on is saving the fucking Rook. And that, this is the only move I can do. Well... That's it, right? Okay. Just keeping the attack up. God damn it. Just kind of have an idea. Well, isn't that just going to be a trade? Let's do that. Wow, what a bitch. What a fucking bitch, man. Getting destroyed. Uh, anyway, this is what I wanted to do. Keep eating my pawns. He's just destroying all of my pawns. He's gonna get another one, I fear. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna save that one, though. That's the seal the general I saved. Uh, I, kn I knew I was gonna play a unit now. Fuck. Jens just got a reset button. Uh, yes, he does. I'm not gonna press it. Man, it's this is ravaging me so hard. I'm just getting destroyed. Cause I don't want you wanna sacrifice like a bishop. It's just that kinda have to. I feel like I have to. Yep. Uh Well, what's the play now? Other than suck it, probably gonna have to cheat and use the item that swaps the table around so that I'm him and he's me. And I get to win. <laughs> uh, that's gross, but that's how it goes. 
I got a couple of horses. Um. Hmm. Okay. I see how I can play them to my advantage. Indeed. I'm gonna man, I'm gonna attack this. If this guy goes backwards, I'll kill him with my bishop. However, he's probably just gonna move left. Or worse, right. <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty funny, and also loser move. Oh my god, this check is made in the, the king. Oh my god, I'm dead. I just lost. This is where I, this is where I turn the table around. <laughs> ah! I don't think you want to use the item against the first opponent, but what am I gonna do? I lost. Okay, so he's mating the king here, so I'm supposed to move my king. Or, you know, move this pawn forwards. That would fucking work. Thank you, Lobster Gator. Okay, look at this, though. I learned this technique. Okay? So, it looks like I'm just slowing down desperately, but look at this. I'm gonna put this pawn over here. Does that make sense to you guys? Oh, I can't. I already have a pawn there. Well, yeah, it looks like I'm fucked. <laughs> However, <laughs> I can still put a pawn here. Okay. This looks like slowing down the inevitable, and in this case it is. But if we were to eat that, I would kill that bishop. With, uh, well, I suppose it would have to be with the, with the rook, or the king, or whatever. So now, right now he's attacking my rook, which is uh, very sad. So I'm gonna move my rook over here. I believe that is the move. And now I moved the horse there. God damn it. So that's attack forking my pawn and my rook. Wow. That is dreadfully harsh. There's really no opening that I can go for here. He's so well defended. I'm just screwed. He's got five pawns of mine as well. What if I do this though, right? Okay. No. <sighs> Fuck, I lost my chance to flip the table. I lost my chance. I could have just flipped the table and won. So, that pawn you make a choice. Either try again and then you typically get a fan, which is an undo button, or you go back to your mom who trains you harder and you'll reach level 2 of your special move. Problem being now, we don't have the um, item we used to have. We used it, so I'm actually better off resetting despite the fact that I'm trying to just do my best to get past the first opponent. We lost an important item that fucking kind of fucking sucks, you know. <laughs> Damn it. Recently, I learned a new Japanese word, it's called Blitzkrieg. Yes, that's a Metallica song that they wrote in Japan. Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna grab a bite. I'm gonna grab a bite. I'll take a break. I'll be back in uh, five minutes. 
It says here I've been streaming for almost five hours, so I think that's fine, isn't it? What do you guys think? Huh? Let me know in the chat. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'll be right back. In the meantime, you will enjoy some of uh, this.
All right. We're back. So I ate some shit against the first opponent once again. I was too late in using the chi item. <clears throat> but now I ate food. So I'm all powered up. And ready to go. Alright, I'm gonna try the Demon Slayer strategy again. See if um, he reacts a bit differently to it this time. Or if it's exactly the same. So he's gonna move the pawn in front of the rook now. Yes, and this is where I am supposed to move the knight here. Bold says, hi dad, in YouTube chat. Nope. Jack93, hello there. Food will give you the power to cheat more effectively, Lobster Gator? I don't know about that. I sure as fuck hope so. Here we go. Now, um... Okay, so... The bad news is the AI is reacting differently than what I was hoping, so... We can't do the demon killer strategy. The good news is the AI is doing exactly the same shit it did last time, so the AI is predictable. It appears. Hmm. Alright. Alright. So we're trading bishops again. Sure. Sure. You guys like advertisements? Let's watch this advertisement to support Goat in the school. She wanted to remember the Does that support me directly? Her, but cholesterol took away their passion until. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. The taste you love without the cholesterol. What a work of art. Very good. Okay, so we got that bishop. He's got mine. Well, let's take inspiration for the Demon Killer strategy. What am I supposed to do that bishop at some point? Drop it. Right to deny it. Attacking the silver. Well, that's something for later. But can I use the bishop in some aggressive... Aggressive, potent way? I, already? Like, can I use that bishop in some sick way? Not really. <clears throat> I can attack this pawn with it, but that's about it. Well, I guess I could wreak some havoc, attack this, attack that. As a matter of fact, you know, I could put it here. What can he do? If it moves the knight, it's too late. If he saves this pawn, I'll get that pawn and promote. As a matter of fact, he doesn't want to move this pawn, he want to keep it there. What it what will react with is moving this golden general there. That's what I would do. Mm, what if I actually move my... I put my bishop here. Then I'm forking this pawn and that lands. At which point... He could move this pawn forwards to sacrifice it. But then he's in big trouble still. I guess his only answer at that point is to play the bishop himself. Let's see how he reacts to that. Alright, let's see if we can get some consistent strategy. Or, hold on a second. I could just... No, okay, if I put my knight here, he's just gonna eat that with his own knight. Yeah, the music for this game was made by a chick in some band that... So an advertisement by Home Data, and then applied, and she got hired, and for a couple of years worked on uh, Home Data games, but only board games and mostly shogi. Bah. Okay, what's the AI gonna do now? Okay, that's somehow I did not see that coming. <laughs> I really should have, but I didn't. And guess what, though? Guess what? What I can do now is actually go for that, and then if he does the sh same shit with the whole... I mean, I, this is good. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. Ah, uh, heck yeah, I'll promote it. So now he has to eat that with his own knight, or he loses the rook. 
okay. So, now I get that with my bishop. I think I found a strat, a self-found strat. Oh! 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 Holy shit, this is forking the rook and the knight, the two mo- uh, the, the king! The two most important units in the game, this is a check! On the king. Or a mate? It's not a checkmate, right? I don't know the terminology. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! He has to move the... Knight... I mean, he has to move... At that point, he has to move the king away. Or... Move... The gold general here, which point will just get the rook. Ah, oh, so curious to know how he reacts to this. He's also got a bishop of his own, or a knight he could play. The knight wouldn't be useful, the bishop might. Let's see what he does, holy shit. Holy shit. Alright. Boom. That's a- that's a mate on the king. He has to react. He- oh! It is that's a tough shot. He likes it. Oh. the bank. Well, not this one. He doesn't like this one. He doesn't <laughs> like this one. Oh, he's coming off the rail. Look oh, he hit a perfect shot. shot. Hit it perfect. What a great shot by Minnesota <laughs> Is he a gamer? Is he a gamer? Thank you, fans, for the two thirty dollars. I'm shocked at my own uh, fucking skill here, Zalanti. Thank you so much, fans. I mean, I just got the rook. Uh, I, I could get the rook. Let's if if, I, if if you get the rook and sacrifice my bishop, because then it it, it 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 can eat it with that. That's still good. Uh, but what else can I do? That's not gonna sacrifice the bishop, you know. I can actually move it here, and it's still, you know, if I move my bishop here, I get another pawn, and then again, it's checkmate, and he has to move the king there, or here. He's gonna move it there. But then I keep getting more, more shit. Probably. So, my promoted bishop, what uh, it can do is it can still move like a bishop. So the bishop and the rook are the only two units that, when promoted, don't just turn into a golden general. The bishop and the rook, they retain their movement capabilities, but on top of those, they now can also move like a king. Just like a king in chess. So my promoted bishop can move like a bishop, and then all around him, one tile. Isn't that amazing? It's a good one. Let me see, uh, where are you gonna link, Zanki? Uh, let me guess, you're gonna link, uh... You're gonna link the one that goes like, uh... A pool player in a tuxedo is like putting ice cream on a hot dog! Is that one? If it is... Hold on, guys, we're gonna watch an advertisement first with music that might get me cancelled on Twitch, so I'm not playing that. Oh, the jungle. Jean-Paul Gaultier. All right. I hate you now, Jean-Paul Gaultier. But I'm going to sit here two more seconds and uh, there you go. You regard yourself as un... That's not that moment. ...paralleled in any form of... Right. Book. Right. Exactly right. So That's the... why I put my cash up whenever I play. That's why I come by myself. And when I leave, you understand, with guys with teeth this long, I leave, I don't want to see no heads when I hit the door. You understand the depression? I played one for half a million in cold cash. There was guys with teeth this long at all the exits. You understand? I get the picture. You speak with total clarity and absolute... That's right. <laughs> absolute irrelevance. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, seen, I've seen all this before. I've seen all this before. Well, for now, we're, f we're fine with the um, fats alert. We'll see how that evolves. We also, we always, we always want more fats, I suppose, though. That's the mess. The underlying message is never enough fats. Hey, for now, there's an emote. Everybody show me your favorite Minnesota fats emote. Okay, so my bishop now, we, uh, what can you do with impunity? Not much. Just eat this pawn, so I should do that. And that's also checkmate, so I should definitely do that. Remember, remember I can also like play shit, like a pawn or a knight, like directly here. Doesn't make any sense right now, but... <laughs> um, 
interesting to note. Okay, let me eat that. And boom. Man, I'm, I'm like, this is... I'm, you know why I'm having so much fun, chat? I'm having so much fun because every time I play, it's only the third stream, but every time I play, I play better. So that's fun. We got some bold guy in the YouTube chat. What do you guys think about this fucking idiot? Is it just an idiot or maybe a bot? You ever seen a, a bold bot? I've never seen a bold bot. Holy shit, I'm gonna ban you. Apologize right now for wasting my time. Or get banned, you asshole. That was my new single. That was my newest single. Um. I think it's a bot. It's not the first one I've gotten. So I'm gonna click hide user on this channel. Boom. Permanently banned. Get fucked. Um, thank you, Juice Willis. That was a permanent ban. I said there was a third message that said, No! <laughs> he was like, No! As I banned him. <laughs> no! Well, I mean, uh, you're welcome to try again your luck in the Twitch chat. That's it for you on YouTube chat. First two messages, you sounded like a bot. Eat shit, bitch. Alright, so... What can I do now? Oh! Oh, I get more and more freebies! I can get that gold general. This is huge. The silver general cannot move sideways. So I can actually just eat that. That's great. It's not gonna be another checkmate, so I'm not sure what uh, he will react with. But I'm taking that. Oh, he doesn't let me? Oh, of course not. This is a promoted bishop. It cannot move like that. Only one square. Okay, huh. Hmm. I, okay, there's no... Nothing I can eat now for free. Um, however, can I use my shit here in um, some nice fashion? That would be useful. I got two pawns and a knight. Mm. The knight can't really do anything from this distance. Well, I could put a knight here. That'd be good. The knight here would be threatening that. For free. Ooh, I, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It could escape to the side, you know. It could escape to the side, and uh, at that point, ooh, if he escapes to the side, I move the knight here and promote it and promote it. And then he, he, he either, either he has to move the rook. And if he eats the knight with the rook, the bishop of my... Oh, I'm liking this a lot. I feel like my brain's expanding so much. Okay, uh, here we go. What's gonna happen now? He moved that forwards. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's still, it's still good for me. Whoa, whoa, that was, that makes way more sense than I thought it was going to. Fuck. Um, so it makes sense because the silver general is actually able to move diagonally backwards, which is the only directions where the golden general cannot move. But most importantly now, this is threatening my bishop and, oh, my knight at the same time. Like what I want to do now is move my bishop backwards. 
That way, I am defending my uh, knight square. So if my knight gets eaten, I can freely do that. The rook can't do shit at that point. And from here, though, I'm not really threatening anything. So if anything, the AI did good in um, getting rid of my promoted bishop threat. You know what I mean? I want to lose that bishop. So, you know, I'll just be moving it here. Right, okay. He still has a bishop to play. Okay, moves that forward. He's attacking. It's not like that doesn't make sense, but it's kind of pissing me off, you know? <laughs> Have two pawns. Um, I think I should do something. that matter? I can just move this fucker backwards as much as I want, so what's the play? Um, if I wanted to play a pawn, I cannot. You cannot play a pawn in a line where you already have one. I have a pawn in each line. I'm gonna get stuck for 10 hours in each map. What do you mean? What are you talking? What do you mean? What do you mean 10 hours in each map? What do you mean? Now, we beat him this opponent before. And now I'm actually about to beat it. Well, I'm doing well. Without use of any item. That would be very, very nice for me. And this strat I just employed can be repeated. It's very encouraging. Should move this Sylvan Knight forwards. Or just attack and do shit with my Rook. Both nice ideas. I mean, the, 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 yeah, the king is over there, so. Okay, there goes my kid, my knights. Makes sense. And now I need to react. So, this is what I'm going to do. This or this? This is attacking it. This is probably just going to paralyze the situation, but I'm also forking the knight, which is why I like that move. And thus threatening the king. Or if it moves the knight, I'm attacking the lance. Okay, that's it. I like this. I like this. Okay, I like that. Center. Dead center position. Nice. What's he going to do? Ooh. Did I win one match? Yeah, what's up, Mike? I won this first match by using the item that flips the table around, so if you're losing, all of a sudden you're winning. That was last time. But then I didn't. I could not beat the bonus game, which you don't have to play every time. We'll see. When you beat an opponent, there's three chests. You pick one, and I picked the bad one, so I had to solve a puzzle. And you get infinite tries and the puzzle's a loop. But now I understand what you're supposed to do in the puzzles. It's three moves, but that's counting the AI's moves. It's two moves for you. I did not realize that. Okay, cool. So, whew. Interesting. So, if that she recommends to attack with your Silver General, not the Golden General. Silver General is easier to move around the... Um, around the... Um, Around the world, around the world, you know, around the, um, around the, um, ah, pawns. Thanks to its ability to move diagonally backwards. Oh, move the rook backwards. Interesting. I wonder why. I tried Zenki, but twice in a row, he reacts differently on his, like, third move. But I was able to capitalize on top of it. 
Like he goes for the bishop trade too soon. But still, this is something. Now, uh, the opponent's really well defended. This, that's, the, the king is nicely castled and shit. So I have to do something kind of cool myself. First off, I think I should, like, defend my shit properly. But, but I mean, at this point, he's got a bishop and two knights. I must not, I, I must learn to defend and not leave an opening. Like, right now, he could play the bishop. Like here. And then he could kill that, and I would have no answer whatsoever. So my answer to that is literally just do this. Right. Cool. Ooh. He's threatening that. Okay. Bitch. I just need to move this backwards. Then you can't do that anymore. Or the pawn forwards. Even better. Because he could get the pawn, but then I would punish with my bishop. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Why did you not see that coming? Huh. That sucks. <laughs> that fucking blows. Uh, do I use the undo button? Yeah, that's that's the play here. Undo button. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, pay I, ne I need to pay attention to what I do. Because this just open a block for him to drop his one of his two uh, stolen knights. And put it there, and that block I just freed up for me to, f to fork my fucking golden general or the king. And then even if I save the king and sacrifice the golden general, now he has a fucking promoted knight here. Which can just keep wrecking my shit. So instead of doing that, just defend as lot. Um, like this, I guess. Or... Uh, I don't need to do that. I can keep this guy here and move this guy there. But I must, I must understand what that entails. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna keep the king where it is instead and do this. Seems saner of mine. Beep, beep, doo -doo. Ooh, interesting. Huh. We could swap, but my promoted bishop is very valuable. I mean, I got a chance to get his rook. Very cool. If I bait it here, then it does that, and then I get that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> God damn it. 
Oh. Fucking hell. I could cheat and use the thing. And I would have two... Bishops. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's play normally for now. It's a free with pirate. I am suck, how dare you. Man, that looks nasty. What the fuck? Two knights there? You kidding me? Okay, that's that's the this is the problem, I suppose. Just this is fucked. If just this is fucked, so this is what I must do. I know what it's gonna do. Oh my god! Not a knight, dude! Not a knight! Oh shit! You think this is completely unbeatable? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, just give up a gold general. Yep. Alright. Cool. Um. Ish. Oh my god. Just play the bishop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh this uh, man I'm gonna play in defense all of a sudden this fucking game dude oh my god oh my fucking god all right I'm gonna cheat shortly I'm gonna cheat very hard very shortly chat I'm gonna cheat so hard oh man I'm gonna cheat so hard so hard. Yeah, I see why that's good for him and horrible for me. I see exactly why. But I think it's gonna end up in a reversal pretty soon, if you know what I mean. So, there's got a bishop and a knight, yes, so, um, right. Okay, so, you know, you can't punish that, or, uh, it will catch you with the bishop. You know, well, I could escape. Definitely, with the king. I'm just looking for the right chance to use this item. That flips the board around, and then all of a sudden, it's we're actually winning, you know what I mean? But I think I can delay it a little bit, although I thought so last time too, and I got destroyed for it. But uh, I'm not—I don't want to risk it. I'm gonna—I'm such a—it's it's such a—I am in such a bad shape that. Are you kidding me? I can't do it while in checkmate. Oh! 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 Oh, motherfuck! Motherfuck! I mean, Let me. 
Alright, what do the glasses say? Fuck it, what do the glasses say? To move the king there. Oh, it just does it? Alright. Oh my god. Okay. I just want one round where I'm not in checkmate, so I can use the fucking cheat item. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Boom. Alright. Whew. So now it's roll reversal. <laughs> This is how I won last time. <laughs> uh, this is exactly how I won last time. There's the king. And, uh... <laughs> uh I got a bishop here as well. I got a bishop here as well. And I could promote it. Right now I got a rookie. I got a lot of good shit. I got a knight that I can put it here and then it's fucking sort of mate again. And that's good either way, I'm pretty sure. So let me do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now I can just put it there. It's mate again. Well, then the king can eat it. Don't have a trap set up or anything, but... Close. Got something close. Right. Is he gonna fall for it? Is he gonna fall for it? Nope. Hmm. Well, the funny part is the golden general cannot move diagonally backwards. So, well, neither can I, but, you know, I can do this, or, yeah. And before the AI actually gets out of this, god damn it. Beat this game already, Goldie, you're just stolen. That's not even funny, dude, it's the first opponent, shut up. Did we move the silver general over here? Threatening my bishop. It's kind of nasty, dude. Oh, it's kind of nasty. It's not like I need this bishop, but as a matter of fact, uh, do I give that bishop away? Or do I save it? I can just move here and save through here. There's so many good units, but the the the, the idea here is syllogism. What's up? Yeah, I think... I, I don't know what the chests do. I'm guessing so. I'm also guessing that using, like, the best item on the first opponent is not gonna be good in the long run. But hey. Yeah. So, let's ignore the bishop for a second and do some theory crafting over here. I could get this knight here and then promote it. And that's, by the way, that's mate on the king. And then he can eat that with this guy. And then I eat that with this guy. And then the king is kind of all alone. And then has to, you know, run away and shit. So I think I might give up this bishop, but then again... Doesn't sound like a great idea. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't like that bishop being there. Uh, whatever, I think I'll sacrifice that bishop after all. I, I need to focus on the attack. You can play it later, but whatever. Who gives a shit? So... This is another move. And then he eats with that. And then I eat with that. But I don't like that as much. I like this better. He didn't ask me to promote. It was a forced promotion. Okay, he ate the bishop, as I thought. Um, 
Again, I think I'm just gonna ignore this guy. Just, just let him eat my shit. Cause in the meantime, I'm attacking and doing insane damage. So I can just eat that. But I think I need to set this up in a more nice way first. Gabriel Pereza, hello from Brazil. Hello to you from Rome, Italy. So there's a number of things I can do. I think we want to begin with this. Right? Okay. Is he going to keep attacking with that silver thing? I mean, that's going nowhere. Okay, he did that. Uh, if he moves that forwards again, I got him with the king. He has a bishop, a gold general, and a pawn to play. Can't play the pawn there. He could play the gold general, but I mean, my king is well defended. Could play like here, whatever. I don't really get it. I hope it's not like some big brain play I'm not seeing. What's up, Rizups? Steep use the cat. No, not the cat. Not the cat. Not the cat. I think I just won. I literally just won the game. <laughs> Look at this. Well, yeah. I mean, that's it. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. All right. I'm gonna... Let's go get rid of this pawn. That lance could do the same fucking shit. Uh, do I move it away? Backwards or left? Move it left. Uh, I already got a lot of shit here. And this is proper. Like this. What's he gonna do now? Gonna attack or do something in his side of things. Ooh, okay. So something nice here would be to move this pawn, and that's a reveal. It's called a reveal because now this rook's path to that silver general is revealed. But am I interested in doing that? This rook there is acting like a big shot. Pretty sure what I want to do right now is this. Yep. Well, is he gonna... Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay. I can eat that, and then he would eat back with the king. All in all, you know, is fighting back. But I think I can put this knight over here. And then he has to eat it with his pawn. At which point <sighs> I can move this golden general. I can already do that. Just have to move it and eat that pawn. So I'm not sure what this is about. Uh, just putting back pieces work. You can spend a turn instead of moving a piece or putting one back wherever you want. Can you just keep putting back pieces? No, you have to have the pieces. When you steal a piece, when you eat a piece, you put it here. You have to have them. But only one putting back per turn instead of moving a unit. So you put one back and you can't move. Furthermore, you don't just put one here and it gets promoted. It will, might get promoted in the next move. So, and you can't put a pawn down if you already have one in a line, in a column, you can't have two pawns in a column in Shogi. Okay, so he has pawn, pawn, king, lance, golden general. The move is to put this knight here, so that 
Then I can eat this, and pretty sure that's good. Pretty fucking sure. I think this will force him to play some a unit himself. Am I defended here? This fucker cannot attack there or there. That's a problem. That's a problem. He could put down a bishop here, and it'll be a huge threat. Well, not a huge threat. I can just move this backwards then. What else does he have? He has a bishop, he has a gold general. Well, I'll take my chances. I mean, I will lose a gold general, but it's just going to be kind of a trade. The two players put back all their pieces. Uh, what do you mean? You spend the turn either moving a piece or putting one back. If you put a piece back, then you're not doing anything else with that turn. You have to choose. And as syllogism say, you only get pieces after you eat them. You don't get pieces in any other way. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. this seems like a good move. He's gonna move the rook. I still have that bishop there, by the way, which he could eat. I don't care about that bishop. Ooh. I didn't think about that very basic thing. So I can move the a knight himself and then not promote it, which would then be attacking this guy. Or I could promote it and would be a check on the king. Who would then be forced to move actually here. And then I have a golden general here and a golden general here. Kanga this pawn is the lance is defending it. However, I have a rook. So that would actually work, I think. Alright, I'm just gonna do that. Straight up. Straight up. Boom. Okay, so that's check on the king. It's gonna move now on between the golden general and the thingy. Very nice. Did I just win? I think I just won. Nope. So I could move this forwards. And what he... Oh, yes, yeah, got the rook over there as well. That's fucked. Okay. Is my bishop again over here? Oh! 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 oh. All right! Boom! Boom! Check. Oh! All right. Getting desperate there. Playing a bishop himself. Uh, what's up, Rento486? Um, huh? We're playing Shoggy. First opponent. About to win again, and then let's see what we get from the chests. Um, so we play this bishop here, and of course that's being defended by the rook. How do we win? Easily at this point. I mean, I got my rook here as well, which I could like... But that bishop needs to die. And then the rook's gonna attack, and who gives a fuck? So I think I wanna do it with this guy. Okay. That's checkmate, by the way, so he has to take care of that. Okay, doesn't use the rook just yet. Now, this is forking this and that, as we know. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Ah, I'm so tempted, though. Checkmate's when you win. Okay, so it's just a check or just a mate. I can eat that. I could eat this and prompt that to happen, and uh, my rook comes into play finally without fear of it being punished by the freaking lands. Or... Uh... I could go backwards. Nah, I need to, I need to kill shit. It's the point where I just need to... I also have a bishop I can play. Very important. Dun, dun, dun. My rook was better place. That'd be better, but I think we got this. Anyhow. Okay. He is gonna have to eat that with the rook now. Now he loses the rook. And then he has to kill my bishop with the king. 
And then the good news is we lost all of our shit, but the king is undefended. Or, you know, you know, I could move my bishop. Or put down something that creates another check on the king. Check, right. Not mate, not checkmate, check. So I have a goal in general. I have a golden general, and this doesn't really work. <clears throat> doesn't really work. However, if I put a bishop down, like, here, then, uh, <laughs> this is good. This is good. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, why are you gonna get my promoted bishop? Huh? Is that what you're gonna do? Nope, actually. Uh, wow. Okay. He's attacking. I just, I don't understand. <laughs> it's stupid. Why are you doing that? Uh, oh, wait. I'm stupid. The rook cannot move diagonally. What was I thinking? Well, okay, so he puts this knight here. So he's doing this attack with a silver general and a knight. Why am I supposed to be scared of that? It's probably gonna be scary in a second after he drops some sick shit behind my back or some sh crap like that. But I can literally keep checkmate. I mean, he could attack and, you know, if he moves the knight here or there, he loses it. To three different units. Same for that. So I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that at all. Crazy check. There's no check. There was no check. And uh, your wife is in my DMs, some would say. But, um... Uh... Okay. I can just promote... This son of a bitch here by moving it there. It's as simple as that. Right? Now, there's no check still. And the if I had to guess is gonna initiate a check on me now. But I think we just won. Okay, he's defending. As he should. Um I could kill that, and then he's gonna get it with that, and then finally get my Rook in play, which is a promoted Rook. Or, eat this, he eats that, I eat that, and then again the King is undefended, left alone. It's not a bad trade for me, but I have a Gold General and a Rook. The Rook is in the wrong space, god damn it. Why's the AI so fucking good at all times, dude? At all times, the AI's got something for me. Oh, by the way, I have a fucking pawn. Perfect. That's that's the play I need to do. As a matter of fact. Okay. You just lost your rook. He's gonna move it all the way to the left, probably. Or give it up. Okay, he's ch checking me. Cool. Alright, so, um... Let's go with the trades, as expected. We're trading now. I interpret this as just the AI stolen. Yeah. All right, now this is more dangerous because like I don't have as good of a defense around me, but He's probably gonna attack, keep attacking my king. This is actually scary now. If I lose this, I'm gonna head about my desk until I die. He's putting more pieces on defense that he just stole from me too. God fucking damn it. Ah. 
Well, I'm just gonna eat the rook with a pawn. If that's not a win, I don't know what is. And, uh, nah, I just won. This time for... No, no? Okay, well, I'm still gonna do that. So that's check on the king. He has to eat that pawn. Okay. Okay. And then, these are two promoted bishops. Remember. So they can do whatever the fuck they want around these parts. And I have another rook. By the way. Which means I'm pretty sure that means I'm better than him. I could play the rook here, but then he can move the king there. That's the play. I think if I put a rook down here, it's instantly a win. Think about it. That's check, and then he's forced to move the king there, but I win. All right, it's a bit hard to be so excited about this because I did use the item to cheat and then I still struggle. But here, once again, we are about to beat the opponent to death in a game of Shoggy Paul Grow Soul. Welcome to the YouTube stream, Paul Grow Soul. What's going on? Isn't that it? Right there. There's actually something else that AI can do at this point, which is move the Silver General here. To shield from the King, but that's just the delay, and then, I mean, I would still kill him with the... with the other promoted bishop. BOOM! Of course, he's gonna play a fucking pawn over there, the son of a bitch! God damn it! I mean, he can't punish me for this. I'm gonna kill that pawn and promote my rook, and then what's he gonna do? Expose his king? I still win! I still win! What now? What now? Another pawn? <laughs> Fuck. Son of a bitch. Uh, do I have enough? For if I just eat the fucking uh, uh, I mean he can't move this or I would kill him with well I guess he can eat my bishop with that actually that would fuck me up jeez hey what about putting a knight here that's a check on the king. That's gonna win me the game guaranteed, because then he either moves the king here and dies to this bishop, or he eats the knight with this civil general and gets shit by that bishop. Or, actually, could kill it with this golden general and not die. But then I would probably... Or, this is the time to sacrifice our rook, take this pawn, and see what happens. Or, or I have a golden and a silver general here. Huh, I have a lot of shit I can play, and I should play it. I should play more units rather than move mine right now. But the unit I play should initiate that check. So he, I know what's so so I know for sure what's going to do next, right? So I could put down a silver or golden general here. And he would be forced to eat it with this golden general. And then there's a hole here. And I can... That's... Fuck. I need to get rid of this golden general. He doesn't have another one he can play. I need to get rid of that shit. Right. I had to kill this golden general, then his forced move will be to eat it with the knight, the king, rather. So he's gonna have the king here. And then I can attack that with a knight placed here. At which point he'll be forced to move, like, here. And then I can play my rook on the pawn or some shit. I think. Ah. God damn it, I'm just gonna do it.
Alright, cool. Now... The knight's the only one that can instantly play and it's gonna have a distance attack on it. So I could put this here. By the way, actually, this is better than this. Because if it gets this with a pawn, then I get to attack with my rook and promote it and check as well, which is dope. So either he attacks with a pawn, and that's cool, or he moves the king away. And that's even better because I get to move the knight here and promote him, and that's also a check. And he would have to move the king definitely to not die uh, here, there, or there. Well, let's see what happens. Boom. I like this. Okay. Cool. Very good. Boom. This is his chance to attack me if he wants. He has three knights, a silver general, and a bishop to play. He's gonna put something down. Ooh. Wait, didn't I know that was gonna happen? I must have fucked something up. I don't know what I was thinking. But that's cool. That's cool. We, we freed something up. Um, I, too, I, I have everything to play. I got so much shit. Um, the thing about the Silver General is it cannot move sideways. Uh, or backwards, as a matter of fact. So I could do this pawn and they'd be forced to attack me with that king. And then, and then I win, because, I mean, I got so much shit to play. So I'm just going to do that. Right? I guess I don't want that pawn to kill anything. Uh, but I also don't want that silver general to run away. So which one do I kill first? I lost the rook. I don't think that was good. But anyways, I'll do this. Then he's forced to eat with the pawn. And then I can just chase. The pawn then is immo immobile, imm immobile. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that pawn. Right? Now I can trap him. Um, not sure how, but... Ooh, I think I know how. So... Silver General here, which is a check. And then he's forced to move the, the king, which is how I get the pawn. Silver General here, he can just move the king uh, there. Which is safe. Well, let's let's just do that. Let's just do that. Uh the thing with putting the silver general here is I cannot eat the pawn with it, but I can check with it. However, I think it's best if I play the golden general. Because the golden general, it, this is not a check, but he can't attack into me or he will die to that. But I can eat that, and then he still cannot attack into me or he will die. So this is how you do it. It's still going to move away the king, I think. Be a mistake not to. I don't know if I'll call this progress. I've won before. Oh, that's that's actually a problem. I mean, if it attacks that, promotes, and that's a well, I could just kill that with my own king. Okay, so here we go. This is his king. Um, I'm gonna get this pawn. And this is actually a check. And he has to run away. Which he will do bottom right? Yeah. Okay. So I think at this point I just attack with my pawn. Oh, I'm so tense. Okay, he's attacking me. Okay. Don't you leave me any choice? I'm scared. I'm so scared. What? 
What? What? What is that? Oh! Huh? Huh? He took back the knight that just ate? That was his special move? He just did a special move? Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What? Son of a bitch! What the fuck, dude? Oh! He never used a special move! I can't lose now! You serious? I'm gonna lose now? I have a special ability too, Icarus. Guess what it does? Guess what my special ability does? Pocket Raptors, welcome back. I know, right? <sighs> Losing the- No, my special move does nothing, Icarus. That's what my special move does. You wanna see it? I lost. I lost the game. Man, the first AI opponent just does the perfect play defensively all the time. So, like, you have to be good at Shogi to play this game. Yeah, under 16 moves, yeah. You can try again, all you get is a fan. So I lost all of my cool items. Um, well, I guess I only used this and the glasses. So it's worth to hit the reset button here. <sighs> yeah, Icarus. The only hope to beat this game is just to get good at Shogi, which is not something you can realistically do as you play this and get your ass handed to it. So I have been doing some minimal getting good shit offline, studying Hidechi's videos on YouTube, but uh, not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. I just want to see the second opponent today, so at least we have some sort of constant progress illusion stream by stream. Uh, yeah, I've, I've looked up a cool strat Icarus called Demon Killing. Demon Killer. And what happens is this... This first opponent seems like it falls into the trap initially, but then goes for the bishop trade too soon. So what you do is this. You do this. Oh, wow, okay, he's playing differently. Typically, he would expose the bishop himself, but he's doing a little bit of something different. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to look more into that Icarus. It's not exactly, I'm not good at chess either, so it's not exactly something that comes rolling off the tongue for me or natural or anything like that. God damn. Uh, I just want to win again. No matter what items I need to use. If I need to use the best items, that's it. Whatever. I don't care. I want to get to the chests again. See what you can get that's not just a bad minigame. And if I get the bad minigame, I just want to win it. Because now I know how it works. And it gives you infinite tries. So as long as today we get to the second opponent... That's fine. Mr. Raiden is in chat. He says, I hear if you beat this game, you get your own late night variety show on TV Asahi. Is that, is that a thing, TV Asahi? It's a couple of very defensive moves you can do as well. I know I'm supposed to... Okay, by the way, uh, the, the, the dude's name on YouTube is that. He has the best shoggy tutorials and content. Just minimal, no bullshit, good at teaching and whatnot. He has videos from 15 years ago. Uh, that's the guy. And he has everything you or I will ever need, Shogi-wise. What's up, Mystical Machine Gun Kelly? Welcome back. Um, that emote is still shit. 
Would you look at that? <laughs> hey, any good uh, Easter food in Australia? Um, it, it says that you're supposed to attack with a silver knight and defend with like a... Uh, you, you know, you can attack with a silver knight and a knight and defend with a gold generals instead and ship. Yeah. Um, anyway. So, fuck. I guess if he opens the bishop himself, um, ah, whatever. Okay. So the thing is, he's attacking with his pawn, All right? So I want to defend that square. By putting uh, a silver general there or a golden general, even. Maybe, huh? Okay. Isn't watching a YouTuber giving tips on how to play Shoggy like receiving hands? Okay, I've said this multiple times, but, you know, it's a live stream and it's the Mega Marathon, so I'm going, gladly going to repeat myself. Um, I'm going to answer that. Okay. I'm going to answer that at the best of my possibilities, because this is the anal, autistic kind of shit I really care about. So. So, very importantly, I will say this. And I'm going to answer this with examples and analogies, which is answering like a bitch. But, you know, I put this down in so many ways right ready. Imagine that I have to play an American football game without knowing the rules to football or without looking them up. Imagine I have to play a Mahjong game without knowing or looking up the rules to Mahjong. That doesn't quite make sense, right? It doesn't. Read the manual. Yeah, the manual actually tells you how the uh, pieces move. That's the only part we ignored, because I already knew that. It does have a very cool uh, full-color manga, for those of you that missed it. Wait, um... There's a rape joke in there. It's pretty good. <clears throat> but yeah. I mean, you know, I was like, ah, fuck. Should, what should I do? What's up, Narcotion? Welcome back. But there's no chance in hell that we're just going to learn Shogi solely through this game. It's just what? Just by knowing how the pieces move? That's, that's not going to do anything ever at all, and that would be just fucking bashing your head onto a wall. So we weren't allowed to talk about... Uh, 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 yeah, you're not. I am, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of, Spider-Man. Kind of. Kind of. Well, what am I going to do, right? I got to learn. Right? That's about it. That's what else am I going to do? I'm trying to keep this as fair and fun as possible. Hmm. I think you can move the bishop here, and that's actually attacking... Oh, no. Oh, wait, does he want to... Does he want to trade bishops? Seems like he always wants to trade. I think what I want to do now is move this forwards so he can't attack my bishop with his bishop. I'm not sure about this, by the way. But first, I would want to move this here because then I can use it to defend that. And I'm still defending that. And not this, not this, actually, you know. But I can also always remove that. Okay, let me just do that. <sighs> okay. What's up, Dread Jester? Uh, there's progress. 
And you know, I'm getting better, but it's going very poorly. Zenki is about as useful as wet toilet paper, says Coin Tengoku in YouTube chat. Hey Coin Tengoku, guess who's a mod in YouTube chat? Do we have any unbanned requests today? No. What's up, guy from Red Bank? Welcome back. Do, 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 do. I have no conversation to make, then. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, why are you linking more YouTube shit to me that I can't fucking play? Because it's just ads and shit. Hey, I remember this. That little boy is playing three games at once. Check me. Check me. Check me. Dang. <laughs> shit. It me. It me indeed. Uh, well, Machine Gun Kelly, maybe you should click the tutorial that's pinned in chat. It's pretty good. Four minutes. Cyberfrog Vampirella. I have no idea what that is. What's up, Uteray? Welcome back. Yeah, the font on the tiles is fucking shit, Biko. Man, Counting Goku, you got trashed. Look at that. Absolutely trashed. You're not here to learn? Wrong channel, buddy. Wrong channel, bub. Wrong channel, bud. Did you clean your asshole today? <laughs> oh, Australians in chat, goddamn hiccup. <laughs> we'll be right back. And we're back. And we're back. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right. Beep, 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 beep. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Okay. Good come. Uh, another lesson he actually taught me is that your king should be on the other side than your rook. So I'm gonna set up to defend on the left. Okay. My bishop is a bit stuck, but I'm planning to move my left pawn. He cannot attack me now, because, you know, um... He doesn't have any piece that he can move or whatever. I don't care about Cla Claudia Schiffer. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Claudia Schiffer and Naomi Campbell were hot. Here in Italy, who was really hot was Megan Gale. Because of all the Italian phone line advertising on Omnitel, which is now Vodafone. Megan Gale, anybody? Megan Gale. Megan Gale. Australian model and actress. She's got an Instagram? Does she have like uh, old shit? Um. Two thousand and one. Damn. Let me look at that dank ass old ad. What the fuck is that? Don't touch dumbbells. Oh, DMCA. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Hold on. There you go. Different music. Audio jungle. Whoa. I vaguely remember this one. Did she do this for real? No way, right? Parkour? Tits? Oh, shit. Damn, she's climbing that tower to make my phone reception good. Oh, she almost died. She almost died for real? Oh, look at that, dude. Hot. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. 
Alright. Maybe we should just look at fucking whole chicks from the 90s. That's the new meta. Get your old fucks all horny and shit. Um, just to run away, you think? What's up, Quick 16G? That's me. <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, so what did your opponent do last? He's moving the... Still the generals. There they are. Ready to go and attack or whatever. Oh wait, I open her Instagram. Who's this chump she's with? I'm jealous. I'm not gonna follow her anymore now. Wow, she has a family, she has a husband. Wow. Ruined. Ruined. Why the fuck is she cosplaying as Morticia or Elvira? Okay, that's what she's doing literally. Cringe. She is she is she is she with a whoa bird. Bird. Old maid. So strilling his foot. Beep 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 beep. Instagram is pretty cringe. Who the guest? Who the thought? Who the fucking thought? This game has three selectable BGMs, not in the adventure mode. But it's gonna change. It's gonna change. Pure magic and better music, I disagree. Ha! I was walking the other day with some hot chicks, and a magpie pretty much stopped me in my tracks. Hmm. You succumb to a magpie in front of your chicks? That's pretty... That's pretty fat of you. I guess. What's a magpie? Alrighty, let's threaten something by moving this. Okay. Now, you, there's not much else you can do. You can attack, you can go here. But well, I'm gonna do this instead. So you get fucked in the ass. That piece is now useless. He's attacking with that. And, uh, okay. He's doing a big attack over there, huh? It's a big attack. What am I gonna answer that with? I got knights I haven't moved. Wrong rook. Okay. Boom. Cow pie. Oh man, I got like six little beef burger patties. I ransacked my mother's fridge at Easter. Food was shit, but at least I ransacked her fridge. Fridge. One of the things I stole was this thing with six bit little beef patties, and I froze four and kept two, which I'm gonna have to eat tomorrow, I think. And then I have a little bit of black rice. How do you call it? Call, how do you guys call it black rice? Here it's called like Venus rice. And it's some crap with corn, salmon and shit I'm trying to consume. I just ate that during the break a little bit. And I had dinner. And it's a couple of uh, pickled artichokes. Uh, a couple of slices left of fucking... Tuned veal. Tuned veal. Vitello tonnato. So it's just le veal, but in a sauce made with tuna. Sounds hideous, but it's really traditional and good. What else I stole? Two packs of ravioli. Ravioli. With like fucking lobster in it. Some fancy shit. I have to cook that shit. But it's like, it says expired in April. What the fuck? How do you making ravioli that expired... Well, it is April. Like, in 19th of April. Fucking conservants are in there, right? Eh, whatever. 
Well, if I move this pawn here and he eats mine, I can attack with the rook. And then there's no answer. So this is probably forcing them to move the bishop here. Hmm, interesting. Also, really, my. I can't really reveal to attack that. Uh, Alright, okay. Okay, I wanna be able to move my fucking knight, though. And this fucking silver shoot as well. Let's do that. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not really playing with a, a motif, I'm just randomly fucking. Okay, he's forking my pawn, which I'm already protecting, and this other pawn. So I can just fucking move. Well, actually, do that. I got the lance. I don't know what move that's. What's that move for? It's preventing me to do something, maybe? I still like my thing here, you know? I really do. All right. I'm the first to attack, just because I saw an opening. I mean, isn't this good for me? Uh, what are you going to do? I guess his move is going to be to play... The, but, but this is good. There's nothing I'm not seeing. Alright, this goes well. I can even promote my Rook. Yeah, this is what I thought I was going to do. Alright. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to eat this pawn next. If I eat that pawn, I get killed by the Golden General. Despite me promoting. I can either retreat, and that's cool, or I can eat this pawn. And I'm attacking the bishop. Wow. There's no knight to threaten me or anything like that. So, that's pretty cool. Hey, we're attacking successfully! SUCCESSFUL ATTACK! Oh, I could get this bishop, but that'd be a sacrifice to that point. You know what's interesting, chat? That I could just now play a pawn here to check the king. And he's then forced to kill that with one of these two. Um, which doesn't do... Well, mm, yeah, that, that, that won't do shit. Oh, I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> I just realized I'm fucking stupid. Oh, man. I have to lose the rook, as you can see. Either I kill the bishop and I get eaten by the pawn, or what am I going to do? If I go here, I die. If I go here, I die. It's a rook. What's up, Zero Dog? It's me. That's me. Radioactive Spider-Man. Um, being fan mail from YouTube. That's all right. What are you up to? Any cool Easter food stories? So you yeah, have to do this trade. This is a bad, bad trade. This is horrible. You don't want to lose the rook. Unless you're trading with another rook, but this this is bad. Ah, fuck. Can I undo? What was my last move, actually? Let me just undo. Yeah, that's better. Killer Middle X. What's going on? Symbols instead of Chinese letters. Yeah. Uh, you're right, especially saying that the tile set looks shit. Because it's really unreadable. Although, I mean, I... You know, you just play it for a couple hours and then you you get used to it. You know, you get used to it, so it's fine. And then you also got to consider, and this is answering to your first part message. Yeah, I'm just fucking around, don't worry. That... Uh, this is a Japanese exclusive. Right? So having Western symbols in it would have made no sense. Would have been nice. Would have been a nice feature, no matter what. But 
uh, it's justified in that regard. Because Shogi is a Japanese game, and that, that that that's what the pieces come like, you know. The um, but yeah, I've seen the Western symbols and shit. That would have been nice. I probably would have used it just for the audience. It's by me preferring these. Um, I mean, this makes sense. The pawn as the kanji for walking. The golden general as the kanji for gold. The king as the kanji for king. You know? The silver general as the kanji for silver. So it's actually very intuitive. But, uh, whatever. Beep, 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 I do, I do agree. Mostly. Um... So let's not do that again and get a rope trap. Okay, we use the undo button. Magical undo button. And I could just stay here to threaten. No. Sounds like a cool idea. Let's do that. Yeah, this Chinese chess, yes. And I think there is a game on the Mega Drive about it, but it's 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 Un, un, unlicensed. Okay, that sucks. Um, so if I move it here, uh, I don't like it. I like it a bit better if I move it here. Um, shit. What about here? Nah. Well, yeah, I should stay on the right. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Are you serious? I've been threatening anything. It's bad, though. This is bad. How many chess games? Zero. Licensed wise, pretty sure there is a normal chess game and a Chinese chess game, both unlicensed. Normal chess game in Russian, I think. Y you can look at the list and see what you find, knowing that's not complete, but also that it does have a bunch of unlicensed shit. You guys should use that list more often than you guys do. Uh, that list is the most comprehensive list in the world you will find online about the Mega Drive Library. It's also the most accurate, because we went over it with Mike, and uh, he changed all the developers to the correct ones. So you will not find any better source than that fucking document for Mega Drive games. And it's not even complete as far as uh, new releases and homebrews go, but it does have a lot of new releases and homebrews. That list is very good. Um, this fucking bishop, man. I should keep this pawn here, because it's defended by the, the lands. The problem is these movements. So if he goes here and evolves and promotes, rather, I, I, I can't defend it. Uh, the move is to put the... Silver General forwards. Because then, um, wherever he goes, I got him. Cool. All right. Ma porco Dio, porco! Mannaggia la Madonna! Porcaccio Dio, gast! Porca Madonna! Mannaggia Cristo! Look how nice little castle he is! Son of a bitch! He got my rook. I'm, I'm, I wanna rage quit. I wanna, I wanna reset. I wanna rage quit. I do. The AI got, can see all these openings I have no fucking clue about. You know? Beep, 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 beep. I can attack that bishop. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Huh? Oh. You serious? Oh, fuck. Alright. There's only one thing I can do or two. Uh, it's like this. Jeez. <laughs> well, I didn't use any items. Let me go back to my mom so she trains me harder. Uh, zero dog. Sorry, I don't read YouTube chat as fast because it's just farther away from my eyes. I'll never be used to Joe Pesci creeping around my house at night. Well, maybe what you need to do is you need to play Home Alone on the Mega Drive for yourself so that you can exercise that fear. Yeah, that's the fastest I've ever lost. So your mom here is training you harder and now you have the level to... Special move. Which, again, I can't stress this enough. Does exactly the same as the level one with a different animation, which is it does nothing. Sorry, I'm not used to reading YouTube chat because everyone there is an idiot. I mean, it's far away. <laughs> it's not true. There's, today's been a lot of uh, cool guys. You know, I'd, it, I don't typically get... Now, today's been nice on YouTube chat. We have Demons Down, that was nice. Coin Tengoku was strolling, but is a Twitch regular, that's fine. Kid the Gamer was cool. Um, Bold got banned. Gabriel Pereza is coming from Brazil, that's cool. Paul Grossol, just saying hi, that's nice. And Zero Doc here, doing two callbacks and two messages. You know? Cool. We just reviewed uh, YouTube chat, yes. <laughs> we did that. Let's try the demon killer strategy again! Nope. Alright. Alright. Beep, 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 Take a break and a piss. What do you guys want me uh, to do after the one minute piss break? Do you want me to just, as I was going to, uh, kill this first opponent and get to the second using the cheat items in with any mean necessary, which I did achieve last time and I would easily achieve again, probably. Or do you want me maybe to look another opening uh, live? I guess that's more boring because I gotta open up a YouTube video or whatever. That was a dumb question, I think. Anyway, I'll be right back.
camera is uh, frozen again. Uh, boom, and now it's not. Oh. Hey. Hey. Alright. Alright. Alright then. Okay. Alright. I just, I just win. I'm just, I just, I just wanna, I just wanna win. I, 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 okay, boom. Okay, cool. So, this is what the opponent's doing. So you like win attack with that or some shit? Probably. I think maybe just moving this here is enough. As a defense. I think so. I can move this pawn just if he reveals that. Just to prevent to the, the bishop trade that he wants to do. That's about it. And I just move this forward. That's probably uh, nice enough. Or actually do this. Oh, look at that. Look at that, huh? Huh. Reevaluating football games as fully playable seasons right now. Hey, an internationally famous and acclaimed video game translator that knows Japanese and shit doesn't like the shogi game with the Japanese cutscenes and the funny anime memes. Hey, what's the matter? Hey, what's the matter? Are you the kind of guy that wouldn't like a Mahjong game? Hey, what's the matter? Hey, what's the matter? I, for one, welcome when a video game gives me a chance to learn an IRL game. Before we advance the cutscenes. <laughs> did I or did I not promise you a second opponent appearance today? Did I or not do that? Okay, here we go. What? Oh my god, dude! Oh. <laughs> Alright. I'll, I'll, I'll keep playing, dude. I'll use this witch item and just wing like this. Fuck it. What's the worst move I can do? You know... Okay, so... I'm gonna use it now. All right, so, so, so now that's my position. Right now, that's my position, and I'm gonna use the glasses. So the AI decides what what I do. Okay, I do that. Okay, cool. That's what I do. Okay. Okay. Next, do I just take the lines? Sounds like a plan to me. Take the fucking lands. Yeah. Or you can have it. Now I got a lance, which is so nice of a unit to just use. Uh that's a pawn. Wow, okay, I can just still take these pawns, bitch. What's what I'm gonna do? Do I wanna take that? No, that would kill me with a silver general. Yeah. Do, do, do. Sirizawa Hachidan. Less is more. Ooh, they moved the, the bishop. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I just got the top ones. They just got the top images. Is that an SG-1000 game? On Sega Retro? Has to be. Um... There you go, I just need to do this. And I'm guarding both of those. Now you're forking that. 
as well. So I'm gonna do this actually. Oh, 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 oh. Why am I stupid? Why am I so shit? I just lost the fucking promoted rook like a fucking bitch. I did not see that shit coming at all. I'm gonna reset this one. I'm gonna reset. I'm like two minutes in, I used the reverse board thing and it did nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna reset that shit. <sighs> All right. Nickname Pegasus. There's a special move as well there. I'm gonna skip that. Okay, can I try the devil move again? Devil, the, the demon killer. Okay, she's playing along for now. Let's see if that keeps going. Yes, it does. So now that uh, she moved up Rook Pawn, he moved the rook point rather. I'm um, supposed to just move this here. Is he gonna fall for it for the first time? Nope, he keeps doing that. But from this earlier, we managed to do something really neat that ended up in um, me almost winning without without using items. I was really happy with that. Uh, so of course now we need to uh, trade the bish uh, shop. Pardon me, microphone issues. One two one two. Can you guys hear me? Test. Uh, Test. And some microphone issues today. I'm gonna telephone my sponsorship company. Let them know what's up. Um. Okay, so now I just kind of get to do my own thing. And. I have a bishop that I could just play. And I have this knight. Who, by the way, right now, could go here and attack and promote. And that's kind of uncontested of a move. But I would like to do right now. You know? Cause some issues. And I can either... Oh, yeah, no, that knight is there. I always forget that. But he put this there. That's nice. That's what makes sense. However, what if I let him do that trade and then I just drop a bishop here preemptively, you know? The bishop here in the dead center is that nice move I can remember for after the bishop trade if it ends up working because I'm forking that pawn and the rook behind it by extension and revelation if that happens and the uh, lands. If I can get a promotion on the bishop, you know, that's pretty nice. So I'm thinking to try this move right now. And see what happens. I'd imagine he would probably play his own bishop back into the field. We swap bishops. We swap bishops. The AI likes that. His first AI at least. Huh. So he moved the knight there. That's not really attacking anything. But it will fork pawns if it decides to. So... What if I want to get aggressive? Okay. Now he has to eat that with his own. Knight. Yes. Which I then kill with the bishop. That's not in favor of anybody. We just traded knights. But I am attacking the rook. And I want to see... Oh, I'm all... Oh! This is the same excitement I must have had last time, right? Because I ended up doing the same shit. So I should remember this strategy. I'm gonna eat this knight and then I'm forking the rook and the king. I'm checking the king. He can't kill me, so he's forced to lose the rook. And then I will lose the bishop, but hey, that's, that's you know, the rook is more valuable, so it's a good trade. Ain't that so? He's forced to move the king. 
And now I, I, I could, I think last time I didn't just get the rook, I just started eating um, pawns. I mean, I could eat this pawn and it's another check on the king. Isn't that good? Isn't that better? Let's do that. This is a nice repeatable strategy, isn't it? With the bishop in the middle. Cool. Okay, now I don't get to eat shit for free again. But I get to attack the rook again by putting my bishop here. Or... I, no, I haven't heard about four player Shogi. 20 years to get to Shogi 9 done. Man, that sounds like a big deal. It took me 234 hours to get past Mahjong 9 done in a Mega Drive video game. <laughs> Uh, I have a, I have a, um, I have a knight, you know, the knight could attack the rook, and then the rook can only escape in spots where the bishop can kill it. No, really though, the, the rook can, the rook has this spot and that spot to escape. Huh, interesting. Or play a shoggy game. Damn. I guess I gotta click on your fucking links, huh? And then, okay, no ad. Well, it's a video game. We animals. Si no sabes, pues, no más mueve la ficha. The fuck? Is this real in real life, or is this a video game shtick with the four players stuff? Did you get all units? King, gold, and general. Um, that that knight? It's a silver general. It doesn't have all the units. That's a rook. You don't have the bishop or the lands. Hmm. All right. Press the wrong button. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna win this time. I like this strat. So I could threaten with uh, knight here, which I think is is nice. Seems quirky enough. I like this placement. He has to move it down or left or... Oh, what the fuck? This is big. Yawning Shoggy. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so I don't want to lose my promoted bishop, which is the full, the full, the whole source of my attack. So this is interesting because I can put my. Oh yeah, no, it's not a rook. I can't put it there. This this would be a good move, where I can't get attacked anywhere there. Um. Okay, so I can't eat anything for free. But I want to keep spooping him out of that, right? And he's probably going to keep attacking me and backing me up. Maybe I lost my chance, but um, I can move this here, and that's attacking it. Or I can move it here as well, and that's attacking it as well. I'm going to try that ballsy move. So I ain't really doing shit from here. Well, I'm attacking the lands, I guess. So he has to move away with that, and then I get the lands. Uh, I mean, it's probably just gonna move this thing here or there, so he can defend it. But I'm interested to see what what happens here. What happens here? You can play a bishop. Okay, that makes sense. Well, now I can't further attack that rook, but I contained it and shit. And I have a little bit of a pronged attack there. Sounds nice. Hmm. Sounds like I want to get my own rook out of the way. Let's uh, let's advance with a pawn here. When a player is mated, all remaining pieces of the king are left on the board and placed under the control of the main player. Whoa! Shit. 
That's cool. I guess at that point, it's not really a lot. Imagine it'd be at most like two or three units. I haven't really castled my king. That's probably bad, but I have my rook there. And that's not cool. It's not cool. Um, so I'm gonna... Do this. What's up, Super Ninja Des? Of course, it's Tuesday. Uh, okay, let's keep attacking. Am I gonna be able to promote this pawn? That's a big deal, guys. If it dies, I can drop another one. As expected. He's defending with that. That can't get my bishop, which I don't like, and now I trap my own bishop. Because I'm, I'm a dumb bitch, apparently. Chat. Apparently, I'm stupid. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, Marksman for Worth says agree. Hey, your nickname's bad. Jeff Fon would say that, huh? Huh? Some Markman's for Worth, feeling sassy, huh? Huh? Feeling sassy, huh? Well, guess what? Your vagina smells. Um, fuck, this is bad. Do I do I do the undo? Can I recover this? Not really. Here I'm dead. 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 So I'm gonna lose this bishop no matter what, unless I fuck somehow check the king, which... Nope. I'm gonna undo this move. It's a bad move. Uh, at least, what is... What is everybody talking about today? This will rinse out my vagina in the yard with a hose? Man, what are you, a horse? Have you tried soap? Damn. Um, Roach. You guys sure know how to turn me on. I mean, you guys sure know how to be disgusting. I gotta say that. That pawn over there doesn't really do what I want it to do. But you know what? Huh. If I just attack, no, it would kill that with a civil general and then... Oh, then I can move forwards with my bishop. Right? Let me try this. Fuck it. Okay. Or is he gonna play his bishop finally? No. Oh, with the rook? Huh. Really? That's a trade I kinda like. Well, I guess I gave up a knight as well, and I'm giving up a promoted bishop for that, so that's not a nice trade at all. Hey, having two rooks? I'll, I'll, I'll try that. Bedhead? There, better. I'm, I'm growing. I'm still growing. The thing now, he has two bishops, though. So, just drop this and then steal his bishops. That's a thing. Uh... Hmm. I feel like I should rake some havoc here. Just put the fucking... Thing right there. See what happens. I want to think too much. So what you gonna do? You gonna play one of your two bishops, big boy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're forking uh, that pawn and that general, huh? I 
can't play any pawns. Makes me look like I want to run away all night and day. It's a quote I don't understand, is it? It's the same hairdo as Bill Cosby. That's not even close. What? All the simple, low-hanging Bill Cosby joke fruits you have. Um, I can't let him do that. Play with the bishop, can I? That one's safe. The problem is, of course, this guy. I can only move there or here. So if anything, I have to do this. Fixed. Hmm. Why is a knight? Why is the AI always got the best moves? God damn it. Oh. Fuck. All right, shit. God damn it. Euro shoggy. <laughs> God damn. I just got a fucking gold general for free. That really sucky. It's really sucky. And again, I got two rooks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's not, I don't like that. I don't like that. Where's this king? Look how nicely protected by the pawns he puts it, so I can't attack it with a fucking knight, like mine always does. Okay, just, just, you know, just do this. Trying this strat again, chat. Let's see how it goes. Is it gonna, for the first time, maybe do something? Nope. There he goes again with the bishop trade. Yatek Folium! Hello. Okay. So now he wants to defend, but... I'm ready to do some cool shit. Again, by the way. Again. Play the game upside down to make it harder. Are you drunk again? Uh, he moved the, the knight. Why? I guess we're the lands for free, that makes sense. Otherwise, I would have that as my best move, getting a unit for free. It's always nice. But now, instead, I'm gonna keep doing what I was doing and trying to make this strat work. That's gonna be today's approach, which might be f flawed, but... I'm going for a quick win, basically. What if I don't promote it? That'd be cool. 
Don't speak this language, I'm out. It's chess. There's a tutorial in chat. What can I say? Whoa, if you don't promote it, the AI does not get it with the knight. What the fuck? Why is it? Whoa, okay. Wow. Thank you, Yatek Folim. What's up, Ravsig? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing fantastic, but I'm getting my ass handed to me. This is such an interesting development, though. I mean, that's losing the unit for free, and this is... Uh, not really, but, you know, uh, let's play along. I could move it here and, and promote it, and then I would actually be doing a check, and then he's forced to get it. Which means I get the rook. However, then I lose the bishop. So again, it's another sacrifice of a bishop for a rook. Which is not great, but we could work a strategy out. However, if I do this, I'm just trading knights, and then he eats that with the rook. And I can't really do much more with my bishop. Um, I can't even promote it. However, I can just leave this as is. Uh, he's gonna advance that to protect that. God damn it! Doo -doo -doo -doo. I did learn the rules just for this game's sake, and I'm gonna have to learn uh, some more strategies. Yep. After a Dino raid, nice. Dino's a good, um, a good garbage animal. Yeah, learning how to play Shogi. This is Shogi no Hoshi. It's got some anime shit. It's a home data game, and I'm gonna learn how to play Shogi no matter what. I'm gonna be the best today. It was to play Mega Drive Shogi for there's only one Mega Drive Shogi game, and I'm gonna beat all the Mega Drive games, no matter what genre they are. So yes, for the sake of this game, I will learn to play Shogi. Who knows? Maybe I'll enjoy it so much that I'll become a Shogi champion in real life. But for now. Uh, let's just let's just fucking do something here. The thing is, all this stupid offense. In the meantime, even though you, it looks like you're trading pieces evenly, you're not. Look at the AI. The AI is in a better position. It's got the defense positioning up, and I don't. So you know, I'll wait. I'll I'll take my chance to actually do the same a little bit. But if he, if I see he's advancing that uh, silver general or moving the rook. I'll trade. Okay, I forgot that was a thing, and I'm dumb again. Mm. The block game with intense music. It's it's a cool game. It's a cool game. It's just very hard, and the tile said shit. It's a cool game. It's a home data game. Sir, I just fucking that uh, this is bad. <laughs> this is not a good start at all. Again, let me use the undo button and uh, do something else with it. You know, at least I can trade it. That's gonna eat it with the rook. Okay. Cool. Can I be pesky with this now? Can I do anything annoying? Nope. Nope. Mm. I guess if I move it here, it's annoying. Right now, at least he has to keep that knight there with the bishop in this position. And he can't really get his rook out. So I think I like to keep it like, as it is right now. Yeah, this is the middle finger game, Hossbags. It's how it is. You should see my special moves. They're all middle fingery. Pretty awesome. So now he has a bishop and a knight. So I want to get some defense going on. I know we. I don't want to be left. Uh, with my, you know, catchable with my pants down. That makes sense. I don't like that. I really don't like that.
I'll just do this. I have a knight and a pawn I can play. Okay, I'm just doing a formation thingy. Put my king here. Do I need to right now? I don't think I need to. So right now, I don't know. I don't have the knowledge necessary to know what my best move is. I just want to move my pawns and be able to move my rook around. Oh, look at the glitch on the knight pawn. That sprite flickering over there, barely noticeable. My knight piece I stolen. Hmm. So I'm thinking to... Uh, just unlock movement from my rook, pretty much. I think this is a good move, so that if it moves the pawn, I, I get it. So I can defend that square, because I don't want the pawn to advance too much. Yeah. He's attacking with that shit, wow. Interesting. He ain't gonna do that yet, but I should defend. So silver general there. I have a silver general of my own. I should get in position. Is this chess? This is Japanese chess. Check the link in the pinned comment in chat for a quick tutorial on at least how the units move and what the game is about. It's pretty much chess, but it's way more complex. Is the face in the top right meant to be the reaction of yours? Well, it alternates. That's my character, and the other one is the AIs. Uh, he, what did he do? He moved the, this guy there. Wow. Okay. That's pissing me off. And I'm stupid. Again, I blocked my bishop. Well, that's not what I expected. It. Yeah, but it's still dumb. Dumb as fuck move again. Oh shit. How do I keep doing this? Such a bad thing I just did. <sighs> just lost my bishop for free chat. It's very bad. But you know, I can cheat and make that into a good thing. And you just explain how the pieces move so I don't have to move my hands and click the link. Somebody ban that guy. Um, let's see. Get some water. Yeah, mystical machine gun. It's like it's like we're playing chess in chat right now. Don't you love it? I agree with many many talkers. Does anybody else agree with these two fucking numb nuts? Before I literally own them so hard without even banning them or saying any words at all. I just want some more chat feedback on this matter before I proceed to drop the most nuclear own possible here because I might seem like I don't have the best move on the fucking game right now but I always have the best fucking move in my own fucking Twitch chat. This ain't my first rodeo bitch. I've been doing this shit for 10 years. Anybody else? Anybody else is pitching on the matter? Rento, you're hyped? Is that is that all you're gonna see? You hyped for me to own them? All right.
Safe lobotomy, thank you so much for the six months, I love you. Both van the huge six months. Thank you. Love you as well. All right. Shogi, also known as Japanese chess, how to play. The object of the game is to capture your opponent's king. Lay out the board. Each player sets out their pieces so the pointed ends face towards their opponent. All pieces start with the black side up and are arranged in the following order. Pawns are placed across the third row. On the second row, place the bishop on the second space in from the left and the rook on the second space in from the right. On the bottom row, going from left to right, the order is lance, knight, Silver General, Gold General, King, Gold General, Silver General, Knight, Lance. The opposing king will have an extra mark differentiating it. Pick a player to go first, then turns alternate. On your turn, you must move one piece or drop one piece. The king can move one space in any direction. The gold general can move one space in any direction except diagonally backwards. The silver general can move one space diagonally in any direction or one space forward. The knight can jump one space forward, then one space diagonally forward. The knight is the only piece allowed to jump over other pieces in its path. The lance can move any number of free spaces forward. The bishop can move any number of free spaces in any diagonal direction. The rook can move any number of free spaces forward, backwards, left, or right. A pawn can only move one space forward. Each player has a promotion zone on the farthest third of the board, the three rows that their opponent's pieces started on. If a piece moves into, out of, or within the promotion zone, the player may choose to promote the piece at the end of the turn. Promotion is indicated by turning the piece over after a move, showing its promoted value, typically the red side. The promoted silver general, promoted knight, promoted lance, and the promoted pawn can move as a gold general, one space in any direction except diagonally backwards. The promoted bishop can move any number of free spaces in any diagonal direction or one space forward, backwards, left, or right. The promoted rook can move any number of free spaces forward, backwards, left, or right, or one space in any diagonal direction. If a piece reaches the far side of the board so that it would no longer have a legal move on future turns, And we're back. You were watching? It's, it's too bad you were watching because you should have been banning those two dudes the second I paused that for the ultimate own. Instead, you know, it's better if the mod does it because if I do it, I'm gonna way overshoot on the timeout, minutage, you know? You trying to fuck with me while I'm trying to bust out a shogi brain strat? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna regret that. You're gonna regret that big taunt. This is my promise to you. If you don't behave right now. Um... Scumbags. Hey, thank you for the subs again. So, uh, what's the deal here? They're attacking my bishop, which I lost. Son of a bitch! 
You son of a bitch! Nico Jazz, you know exactly what you were doing there. <laughs> Why is that so loud? Why is that so fucking loud? Does that need to be that loud? Does that need to be that loud? Answer me. God damn it. It's not need to be that fucking loud, does it? Jeez. Oh, Nico Jazz, thank you for the two gift subs. Zanky, thank you for the 50 bits. You guys think you can delay the inevitable? You guys really think I ain't gonna be this first opponent again? You guys really think it's the stream is not gonna end with me humping the CR fucking T? Well, let me tell you one thing, Puffna. You're fucking wrong. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, damn. You better think twice before you decide to misbehave deliberately in the Twitch chat, you bastards. Zenki still has me uh, timed out on YouTube. Why so long? Well, it looks like Zenki's strategy maybe it was meant to have you chat on Twitch for increased Twitch engagement. Who knows? Who knows? What about your strategy to argue against the timeout? How do you think that's gonna end? Words of Rook, welcome back. Haven't been off that long. I've streamed on Sunday. That was two days ago. Oh. We're faced with a tough challenge today. The game's first opponent keeps handing our asses back at us literally every single time. I'm gonna give up once again. I did manage to beat this opponent last time we played this. As a matter of fact, I moved on. I'm just trying to do that again because now I know how the fucking puzzle game is played. But Twitch chat today is playing against me. Twitch chat today is just trying to harass and test the metal of men here in front of the Mega Marathons. Jolly shoggy game is like a uh, streamer, the total streamer, just squall, streamer, do this, do that. How do you think that's gonna hand for you, chat? Who do you think is gonna win in this exchange? You think you're gonna win? Let me show you. Let me show you how I destroy this first opponent now. First try. First try. Boom. Boom. All right. Boom. Demon killer strat. Boom. And then this. And then it's gonna be like, nope, no demon killer strat for me. And uh, boom, okay, trading the bishops again. Okay, hype train success. If Twitch says it's a success, then it's a success. Thank you for the hype train, Nico Jazz. Man, that fucking... That's gonna break my headphones like that someday. I don't know, Goku. The moderators operate in mysterious ways. 
if I, if I, moderation of this channel nowadays was up to me, many more people would be timed out right now. I'm a work cow, I'll go just sitting here being nerdy and fat. <laughs> what do you mean fat? What do you mean fat? Look at this. You just look fat to you. Not the silver one. God damn it. I, I work out more than you do, Biko. And you go, you like, you like lanky as shit. You're like tall, balding, and lanky. Probably. Uh, the operator has no idea how to untime out. <laughs> the operator? The operator. <laughs> Is there an explanation, uh, Koin Tengoku? My face has abs. Yeah, it's called acne, bitch. Um, what's your face? Okay, let's trade the bishops. Uh, okay, so... <sighs> Do I make this offense somehow work, or...? Why not give a shit? Should I save this bishop? Like really? What? What? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the, the. Okay. I'm gonna play with the cheats in mind, specifically the switching one. Okay. So here's what I wanna do. Like no, really. Like I wanna. What I wanna do? Okay. I wanna play with the cheats in mind. Items. I call them cheats. Okay, whatever. So I'm just gonna go straight for that. Yeah, promote. I didn't like what happened when I did not promote. They let they let it live. And it was weird. Okay, so here's what happens now. I have a promoted bishop, and I mated on move 13. I checked, I checked the king. Not mated, I checked the king on move 13. That's gonna count for something. You know? And then I could either sacrifice my bishop and then use the cheat, so then I have two bishops. Or, you know, have a cool uh, promoted bishop Use it. There you go. And by the way, that's another check on the king. So this is a strat I can replicate. Every time I try to use the demon killer and it doesn't work, I can keep doing this. Which is pretty cool. And I have a knight I can play. Right now I could play the knight here, although I feel like I've done that. Then he's forced to move here. And I can... Well, I guess if I put the king, the knight here... He can move... Uh, here as well. What's like a dangerous thing I can do with the knight already? Is there any? Well, only here, because otherwise I'd die. I guess I can put that... Ooh, this is nice! Dropping the knight here is such a nice move. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that shit. 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 All right. I'm just gonna react. I guess that's a nice fucking move. Actually. Very nice. Strat now is to pull out. Can't kill that, I would pack it. But I don't want to lose the bishop to that, you know? So... What's he gonna do now? He can't eat it with the silver thing? Ooh, he's going all out? 
I watch a new clips from China. Can you shut the fuck up? How does every how does a guy like you with a subscription badge and a sub gift badge come into chat one time as a pleasant guy that does silly jokes and the other one as a complete fucking drunk piss artist idiot? And how are you not timed out yet? I swear. If I have to if I if I have to pull my dick out and utilize the mouse with it, you're going down bad. I don't do alcohol? Well, that was your only excuse, dude. That was your only fucking excuse. Last warning, by the way. Shut the fuck up about dumb shit that does nothing to do with anything at all. I mean, I'm the first one that does that kind of shit because it's funny, but... You're not funny, and you keep doing that. You know? It's like, it's like a creepy guy trying to hit on a girl, pressing the same button over and over again. Except I'm not a girl and I'm not creeped out. You know? So either I get annoyed or I get rid of your sorry ass. What do you think this is? The fucking park? I mean, it can be the park as long as you take your stupid fucking deflated ball and you go play over there. Far away from me. Alright? And we watch a news clip from China. Stupid bitch. Alright. What are we doing here? Mm. A safe lobotomy. That's what people need sometimes. A safe lobotomy. That's that's my fault. I should have timed out that guy first. You know. But uh whatever. Shoggy chat is uh Low life chat. What can I do about it? Yeah. Uh, my eyes are tired. Uh. Okay, so I got this knight who's being attacked by a silver and a golden general. Can't move it forward or he will die for free. But as he is right now, it's a nice sort of uh, deterrent, but not really. Nothing's really happening, I mean. I guess I could attack that pawn. Except I can't. I only need three moves to eat that pawn with the my bishop. This is fucking strat sucks after all. Hey, remember I got the cheats and all. And I can play a pawn. That's what I was thinking about before that guy was stupid. I can put a pawn there with my middle finger right here. That's actually not a really good move because if he eats that, then, um, um, is it popular, retro gaming in Italy? Um, I mean, what's, what would be my gauge? Tell you that. Yes, it is. I mean, what, what would I, what would I have to go off on to answer you, other than, like, people I know? There is one arcade that has old games and pinball tables in the entire Rome, which is a huge metropolis. But I don't think it's too hot. But there's some stores that sell retro games, of course, at an extremely high price and shit like that. Um, I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that when I explore what I can do with this pawn... I can't put that pawn anywhere. My bad. I don't like how this is shaping up. Go off all the streamers. There's Italian streamers that do retro. But I don't follow Italian streamers. No, I can... No, I know about three Italian retro streamers that stream in, in Italian. Two of which have a bigger following than I do. In English, okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leverage the full power of the items and um, the um, look at that animation. The items and the cheats. So right. Okay, and I have to react to that. What the fuck? 
All right, man. That's weird. You know, take my bishop. I'm planning to cheat anyways. Ooh. Uh, here's my cheat. Ooh. Now I have two bishops and you have two pawns. So... I have plans here. I really do have plans. And they go... Go like this. Can I fork? Can I fork something? Yes. I'm gonna put this here. Okay. We got an attack. We got an attack. Man, I must be the most stupid motherfucker on earth. Undo. I got one fan to undo that. <coughs> ah. Ah, Italian girls playing Pharaoh. I guess you guys get exposed to more Italian streamers than I do, because you guys follow me and then you get recommended other Italian streamers, huh? Pharaoh. Hmm, Amber plays a lot of Pharaoh. Boombie Market, Amber. Okay, so... This is a better spot. Uh, right here. I'm trying to go for that pawn on the right, in front of the knights, in front of the king. Uh, Alright, whatever. Next to me and Amber, that makes sense, pocket raptors. So he's moving that there, which means he's going to be able to get that with the rook. Maybe I should, you know, eat something with it, but that happens. But the thing is, either I eat the golden general, Or, I eat that, and then if they go for that, instead of doing it, literally anything about this, I get to eat, well, nothing really for free, you know? Nothing really for free. I can set up a trap for the king, and what I was thinking about anyways. But let me know waste is, uh... This thing. Oh. Oh, of course. That wouldn't work. There's a golden general. One promoted, one's promoted, so it cannot move here or there. What's up, Paul? We'll be back. The name of the clip is RCNC Baboon Peace the Roll Tire Dash G Dash 5 Enol. Okay. Enol. I don't consider retro as retro. I don't like labels, so that's that discussion doesn't really interest me ever. Uh, the older games respect your time. That's true. Uh, that clip is not loading for me. But hey, thanks for clipping the stream. Sure. It's, it's pointless to move this, really. Um... Totally pointless to move that. That should proceed to my shit. Okay, the reason why I like this play is because now my bishop is safe and I get to set up some more shit. Right, like, I could play another bishop or. You know, if I if I put a king here, if I put a knight here, I get to eat that pawn. And then the king cannot take that. Can't do the same there because of the gold general. And I should put the knight here. Not there. Let me put it here. 
I was gonna save for here, but uh, I like I like the the option. Okie dokie. See how this goes. What's he gonna do? Huh. That unfortunately makes sense. However, guess where the silver general cannot move on its side. That means I could play... Nope, there's the lands. Well, it's an attack. You know, that, that's not bad. Well, what are they gonna do now? They're... Can I put a... I could, I could keep attacking, guys. Put a bishop here. Or even here, to get that. But here I'm attacking the rook. Here I'm attacking the lands. If I do this, surely it's gonna move the rook. But then I can move here, promote and be safe behind that. But I like that move, and I'm gonna do it. You can play a knight or two pawns. Ooh, that's where it moved it? Oh fuck me. Dude, I don't have the ability to see that far ahead. I guess I should have, because now whatever I do, I lose my bishop. <laughs> Except if I don't move it. <laughs> you know? If I take this, I die to the golden general. If I go here, I die to that. If I take this, I die to the rook. If I take this, I die to... Yeah. There, I die to the rook as well. So I should I should keep it still there. Well... Uh, now I gotta move some pawns. Or defend. He's got a knight. He could play the knight to fork my pawns. And I don't fucking like that, as a matter of fact. And he has the sil this golden general there just to defend that. I really don't like that. To defend that square where he could put the fucking knight. So I'm gonna move this fucking pawn right ahead and prevent that shit. I lose a pawn or two to that golden general. I don't give a shit. Okay, well, that fucking sucks. But hey, you're opening up this side of the thing. So, I can take this with a bishop, and then it's check on the king, and he will 100% get my bishop with that. At which point, you know, I kind of get to move my bishops around, at which point I can get that golden general with the knight and promote it, and that's another check, and then he can get it. Wait. Wait. I, I say like this. That. Knight. King. So all that's left. Is that I can actually move my bishop. And here. I like promote it. Nope. That will kill me. Um. That bishop will still have no good move, but it will be safe where he is. I don't know if my trades will be good at all. What about here? You get that pawn. I gotta learn to make this thought faster. You take that pawn, he kills it with the silver general. You take the silver general with the knight. Takes it with the king. Still have no move here, so it makes no sense. Uh, I gotta do something, or I lose this bishop for free, right? But no move that this bishop can do will have the bishop actually survive. Because this kills me, that kills me, this kills me, that kills me, this kills me, 
So just go for the king and check instead. Ah, let's go for the with the knight first. That's a check. He's forced to kill that with the golden general. Cool. Uh, now I do this, and he's forced to kill me with the king himself. Then I'll have to do this, and he's gonna be forced to kill me again with the king. Uh, it's not very good. I mean, he gets the best of that exchange. I lose two bishops to nothing. And he killed some generals, but that's not what you want. Ah. What about killing this pawn? And then he's forced to do that, and then this opens for me. I think I like that. Let's do that. Okay, watch this. Gonna take that with the golden general. Okay. Nope, this was stupid. This kills me, this kills me, that kills me too. Gosh, that was blastedly bad. That was really bad. That was really bad, Dave! I'm struggling so much! Oh, I can keep this guy here though, at least. Now I can play two kings and a bishop. That is scary. This, uh, what's, what squares are undefended? This square is defended. This square is defended. This square is non-defended. To move this guy here. I can't, of course. <sighs> That's better. A bit better. Doing that rook. Does that give me any ins? Still no. Well, it's attacking that. Or I can do this. <laughs> okay. My vision of the board and the game and the moves is improving, but like even we're just looking at one step forward, as you can see, it's problematic. But I can defend this easily, right? I can just move the bishop here. Right, this is defended. Well, not really, because of that fucking lunatic. But uh this this would work. But then that's not defended. Whew! Jeez. Okay, the play here is just to move this forward. So then it can cover both spaces. That that knight is forking. Cool, I'm even using the right words. Very nice. Whew! Wait. Oh, I moved the rook forwards? Oh, to attack my bishop. Doesn't that finally give me a move? Nope. They're all dead. Bad choices. I'll be damned. I have to eject with my bishop through here or there. Nope, that will kill me with that knight. God damn this guy. Now what? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. That why is the AI so fucking good? Holy shit! This is the first opponent. Oh, well, I'm a noob at shogi. Maybe this isn't good, but God damn it! Remember, I can still flip the board, but my not, my king is no danger.
Damn. So hard. Return of Chinko. It's just the first opponent, though. It's just the first opponent. It's just the first opponent. I mean, it's just the first opponent. Doesn't make sense. I guess at least I should attack um, the other knight. Takes my bishop, he has to pay with two knights. Fuck it, not too bad. Yeah, about that. That's bad too. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, I mean, let's start there. Start there. Even attacking anything but the lands. It's funny. <sighs> the AI is too good for me in this game, as where well. I have to like luck out and use cheats as I am right now to beat it at all. That's fucked up. Jeez. I have to give up, like, units and shit. And you can still just do that, so I'm better off not moving at all right now. Or, you know, move the fucking lands. That's, that's an idea. That's actually an idea, huh? Because now I cannot kill anything. Of course he's gonna do that, and then I'm fucked. Jeez. Uh... Oh. Let me attack that fucking Rook. Take advantage of this to attack its Rook. See how he handles that. Wow. Whoa. Huh. Alright. Fuck. I mean, uh, what are you gonna do? I'm attacking your Rook. It's your best unit. What's your play now? I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. The Knights. These fucking scribbles. I just don't see the knight soon enough. But anywho, well, here's another pawn. What are you gonna do? Yes, join the Discord server, please. Post food. Okay. So you did that. I will make you pay for that. Fucking leave it. Well, that's if I tack that rook though, that's kind of fuck it. Just ravage my shit. I'll just flip the board if it doesn't work out for me, right? I'll just fucking flip the board. Boom. Okay. They're gonna save a rook or you're gonna ravage my defenses? Then there's more shit between you and my king than between me and your king. Okay, you move the rook. Good job, buddy. Keep attacking that root. So I'll do this. Need it. And then I can just put another pawn there. Let me do that. Till I have pawns, I'll do this. And if he fails, I just flip the board in him. Ooh, retreating, huh? How is that a good move? Huh. 
Yeah, fuck off, will you? Okay, did I succeed in at least breathing a little bit? Do I want to keep attacking there because it's got the gold general there? I can't advance with this. I wouldn't be as free as it has been. But that was nicely done with the pawns. And I have a knight. I could keep attacking the... That's actually very nice. Let me do that. Keep attacking that rook. One knight. I, the, the thing that's going on well for me right now is my king is very well defended. Very well defended. And you know what? I can still attack his rook. This is a big assault on his one fucking rook. With a nicely put knight here. And his only move at that point is to eat it with the... Silver General. Which, you know, not a good exchange for him. And then I can eat that with the pawn. Of which I have other ones that I can then attack with. This is nice! At least this is like strategies, higher level strategies that I'm important. Whoa! What's that about? Huh. I mean... Alright. Do that, see what happens. I think I can advance this pawn now. He might eat it with this, but then I can just play another one right in front of that fucking root. You know? Yeah, pretty much. Those two shits can stay there for all I care. Um, just do that and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Do you have knights? No, I have... Okay, that's what I thought. Gonna happen. And uh, now, next move, you might get my uh, knight or pawn, as you wish, with that golden general. Who actually, if I... Yeah, if I put a pawn here, and you kill it at all, I'm gonna avenge it with my knight. And I'm also attacking the rook. You know how good pawns are? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That makes sense. Well... Fuck it, right? Man, it's king. Kill so much. Did he just sacrifice a rook for a pawn? What the actual fuck did I manage to do in this game? Looks sick. That seems sick to me. I mean... So, do I want to promote this knight or not? Because if I don't promote it, it's not actually... If I don't promote it, it's not actually going to check on the enemy's king. So, he might let it live. And at that point, I can move it here. And then promote it. Do it. Man. Um... Let's see... Of course I need to take that rook right now. That's obvious. You can kill him with that as well, so it doesn't really matter in the end. But I think it should be funny. Perhaps not to promote it, just to see if, like, he doesn't deal with it. I get to scam the AI a little bit by advancing it. I have two knights there. Yeah. Okay. So that actually happened, as I said. I could advance with the fucking rook now. Yeah, my king's gonna be undefended, and he can just play shit and kill me a bit. I 
I have such a nasty idea right now, chat. I just work. Alright. If he leaves that alive for one more turn, well, I'm sure that he can play units to defend. Or, you know, worse. Like that. So if he if he if he kills my rook, okay, do I game over instantly or I think we're fine. So what I'm thinking now is to of course do this. Huh? See how wait. Wait, I mean this. See how cool this is? He's gonna be forced to escape from my um Oh, I could do this as well. Ooh! Ooh, bitchin'. Oh, I'm stupid! That's not a check! Damn it! <laughs> Can I undo? No! Ah, oh, just use the glasses, fuck it. What should I do? Play the knight there. That's a whip move just to say the rook from the from the bishop. Uh, what's he gonna do? Man, I'm in trouble. I do have him kind of trapped. You know, pretty good. Am I winning without the flipping of the board? That would be so cool. However, it does have like six pawns. That's terrifying. I think I think I gotta move this forwards no matter what. I can move this forwards and uh, then I get to play my Rook on the board and try and kill the king. I mean, last time I won versus him, I used the flipping on the board. This could be a chance for me not to. I have to do that. It's, it's, it looks to me like I won, but he's got pieces that he can play to save his ass. But the move here is this. Although, why do it like that when I can do it like this, you know? Where is his rook? He doesn't have one. I have two. Uh, what about horses? He has two. Not a problem. He has a lance. Uh, six pawns. One silver general that he can play. That would be his next move, I bet. Ah. Uh... Do a castly move, do it. Hey, I, you know, your shit posting is like a hint. If I want to be anal about it, castling is putting your hang into a defense and trying to make the offense work. It's really sad when you're playing like a Japanese game with scribbles and the only messages in both chats are just kind of, you know, memes and shit. So I think I'm gonna run an advertisement. She was coming home to the jungle and, I ran out of water. and to their wild, untamed love. For butter, cut down by cholesterol. Until... Darling, look what I've brought back. I can't oh. believe it's not butter. It's the premier spread flavored with real sweet... Can you believe it, Chad? ...for a fresh butter taste of cholesterol. Whoa. I'll zip I can't believe it's not butter. The taste you love without the cholesterol. Very nice. Watching TV together, chat. Looking at the ad. Using the wrong microphone, by the way. God damn it. Oh, wow. It got so late already. Holy shit. Alright, this is it. This is it. This is the final. Uh, okay. So, I want to play this Rook to attack this silver shit. And then next move, hopefully, I can put him in a trap. Because the king is kind of trapped there.
but I can't put the DA because it just killed me and then I, this guy cannot move diagonally backwards. So I can put the Rook here and then he can play his Silver General. Like, I guess he can play it here to attack that or here to attack the Rook. Likewise here and there, as it would probably do, actually, put it there. And if I put the Rook here and he puts the Silver General there, then I can't really do shit. I put the Rook here, it's the same, because he can kill me with that. And then the King is still unscathed. Do I move the pawn, maybe? Shit. I have another rook. Let's not forget about the other rook. Very important. But it's kind of defending right now. Ah, shit. I just got an idea. I just got a supreme idea. I'm gonna put the rook behind my... Whatever this was. Now it's as if it was a golden general. If I put my rook here... And he doesn't react... I can then move my general here, down here... To do a reveal... And, you know... Then the, 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 the bastard is forced to go down there. I'm gonna do that. I think it's not gonna react to it. Because it's not in immediate danger, it's gonna keep attacking me. He actually put a fucking pawn? There? Huh? Why? What does he think? Oh, to save his lands. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay, cool. Cool, it's got five more pawns. That's, that's like a free move for me. I also have a pawn. This is the line I can play it. Or this. I think now is where I move this rook. Isn't it? It's kind of fucking up my defense though. So right now, if I move this down here, it's check on the king. And then he is forced, forced to move his king there. Which point, I mean, eh, what am I gonna do? I can't take the lands. Eh, fuck it, let's, let's do that. Seems like a good fucking idea to me. Doesn't it? Oh yeah, if I take this with the rook, by the way, it's gonna kill me with the bishop. Cool. All the more reason to do this. Ah, this better work. Okay, as planned, as planned. Now, I could take this pawn and promote my rook. Nope, that I would get killed by that. I could... I could... I could... I could... Um, 7.6 megahertz. Is that so? Is that true? What does that mean? Is that the number of blast processing? I could move my rook here or there and promote it, but then I would get killed by that guy. That's not good. I mean, he has so many units. Fuck. My King Dong, what's going on then? It's the guy using his wife's YouTube account. Is this guy's greeting Twitch coming in, being nice? Hello, dude. Welcome back. I'm struggling to win again versus the first opponent right now. Let's see how this goes. Uh, uh, I think I want to move the rook down here. And then I can do another reveal move of swords. Ah, uh, shit. 
be going on the spare capacity control and moon landing at the same time. That's, uh, yeah. I would lie if I say that I'm not aware of that, because, I mean, look at the game right now. So, fucking shit. Remember, I can put pawns down here, huh? And I can put a pawn here, too. I don't want to. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm fucking sure there's like a good move somewhere. I just don't have it. Um, I think I should promote the rook. Do I do it here or here? Ah, fuck. Just do something. Just do something at this point. Just fucking do something. Um, this. Fuck it. Damn it. Shrug is hard. This will be my last attempt for the night. I hope it goes well. It's late. Ooh. Huh. What is the reason for that murder? Just attacking? What the fuck? Okay. Let me think. The move now is to move this here, which is safe. Because at that point, I can check with the rook here and actually win. Like, actually. Super actually win. So I'm gonna do that straight up. He's gonna defend. Because the AI is too good and knows that I'm about to win. It would not let me. Right? Of course. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I have to. I have to deal with it. Man, I was so close. I mean, look at this. Eat that. And then... Oh, well, actually, I mean, like this. Boom. The silver piece cannot move sideways or downwards. So if I put this fucking rook here, I win the game. I literally win the game. But now I have to deal with this. And after that, it's, how is he going to own me? He has two knights, a silver general, a lance, and four pawns to play. Something tells me that 100% he's going to fuck me up. This is a pawn he played, by the way. A pawn. I mean, it's just a pawn. What do I kill it with? Do I kill it with this golden general or with my rook? Because whatever I kill it with, he's going to punish that with a bishop and check at the same time. Then I have to deal with that shit again. Oh. Am I dead? Because if I'm dead, I could try flipping it on him. Hmm. I guess I'm too stubborn to do that. What does he have again? He has a silver general. If he had a golden general, I'd be fucked because he put it here. I think the move now is just do this. Okay. Now he's gonna eat with the bishop, right? Or is he? You know, maybe he's gonna defend, because I do have the rook there. Then again, why did he put the pawn there? Okay. Wait. I don't even have to eat that, I just need to move away. Huh. I mean, he could still promote, and then check. But it just puts me in a worse spot if I do that defensively. So, after all, fuck. This leaves me so uncovered. Oh, 
please, please, please. There's that silver general he could play, but I have the rook to defend that square to the top left of the king. Okay, he's defending. This is good news. However, I don't like that because that's pretty good for him. I don't like that at all. My plan, if that pawn wasn't there, was to move the rook. Now, it's kind of fucked. However, I could move this, but that wouldn't fucking work, damn it. This is frustrating. Oh, it's taking so long, 45 minutes. Last time I almost risked uh, the time of running it. Just uh, ignore all the attacks. Try to dismantle that defensive pawn somehow. If I just retreat and then put a knight down, nah, that's not gonna work out. Fuck. Could retreat and advance my pawn, but that's also shit. Whatever. If if I, I can, if I kill the pawn, the silver general gets me. Of course, that's the problem. The thing is, I could move my pawn forwards here, and he would be safe from this golden general, and then it's promoted. So, I think that is the play. If he kills the pawn with the pawn, I'm just back. In good shape. So, here we go. What's he gonna do? He has to defend this. He has to defend this. He just has to. If he doesn't defend this, he's dead. So, he's gonna defend this. Okay. Okay. So. So, you know what the problem is, chat? That he has three more pawns that he can do this with. <laughs> uh... Shit. I have to challenge him on this, though. I have to challenge him on this. Ah, damn it. Alright, son of a bitch. He's just gonna do the same shit. He's gonna put another pawn there. Uh, I have to train more offline. Okay, I did the exact same shit, of course. Jesus fuck. I mean, don't I have more pawns than him? To win the war of attrition? I fucking do. Hold on a second, chat. He's got the lance too, which does the same. In this case. Oh? Oh? What? That cannot threaten me. I got the rook. King wise. So, he's literally advancing in desperation to not lose the match. It's That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. So whatever I do next, I need to free this space, which means I need to move this piece of, piece of shit here. And the move is uh, this. Okay. Is he gonna eat that with the Silver General, or is he gonna go insane and play a pawn somewhere? Or is he gonna do probably what I've not seen coming? Oh, I didn't see that coming. I'll be honest. I thought I was gonna eat that. I'm probably fucked. If I had to guess. Um... Ooh, playing a knight here would be so nice. So nice. Do I just wanna attack instead? 
and maybe win the game. I mean, this if I move this here, it's not a check, because then I can't kill the king. But it bloody almost is. So now all I need to do is move the rook, and I win. Of course, it's not going to let me do that, but... I can move the rook right now here and win the game. Isn't that so? Dude, this silver fucking general cannot move down here. What's preventing me from winning right here, right now? Him play- He can't play a pawn there! There, I won the game! Oh, finally. Is that right? It's got a lance, three pawns, two knights, one silver general. Oh, he can definitely play the silver general. Let's see him do that. I didn't win. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's vile. Well, isn't this the winning move? That's the winning move, chat. Oh my god. Is, is, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes! Oh! I did it without flipping the boards. I did not cheat with the flipping of the boards this time. I still cheated with switching the... The fucking things. Oh, okay, he's complimenting us. Oh. Cool. Okay, now I have to pick the fucking chest. Last time I picked three and I died. Let's try one. Oh my, you gotta be shitting me. It's a set. Dude, last time it was a three move puzzle. Now it's a seven move puzzle. <laughs> seven move puzzle? What's up, German Jet Boots? I have no hope of completing this. No hope at all. Oh, this is very bad. This is very bad. I was at least taking for granted that in those three chests, since last time I got a three move puzzle, you know, that was the worst you could get. And then the other two were gonna be upgrades or whatever. But no! <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have the three move puzzle and the seven move puzzle, and only one's gonna be good. Being fucking optimistic. Uh, a launch title, Gemin Jeppers? Did you play it? Can you play Shoggy? Yeah, Icarus. I, I, it's one in the morning. There's no way I'm gonna beat this if it's seven moves. It's seven moves in total. So it's like four moves to you, a tree for the opponent. And it's these are Shoggy puzzles where you every move you make must be a check on the king. Every move you make must be a check on the king. And the AI can play all of the shit that he wants, as you can see. So, it's, it's, there's no chance. No fucking chance. Actual 250 plus hour game. Uh, oh, it's only sumo problems. There you go, there's a fucking sumo problem here. Yeah, because what I said, it's called a sumo problem, and it's seven moves, counting mine and the AI. And you're giving this kind of shit. Usually when you have these, it means you need to use them. And every move you make must end in a check on the enemy's king. And on the seventh move, you must capture it. So, uh... <laughs> We're in trouble. And uh, it's gonna infinitely let us try, except every time it's gonna swap the shit. Which I guess works if you just give up and focus on one. That wouldn't be too bad. Like, just focus on one and learn one and then skip all the other. Uh, you know? Then you can pretend it's always the same and it gives you infinite chances. That's not too bad. Um, okay, so there's the king. I have a pawn here. Uh, so the king right now is not in check. So my first move must put him in check. Yeah, no, dude. There's, there's no way. There is no way. There is no way. There's, this is not going to happen. Not now. For sure. Let's play a fucking rook first, probably. Uh, 
I I I see actually. Well, no, it would move top right. Mm, I don't like that. Yeah, it's fucked up, Biko. Got a lot of Tron and error. Is there not like even Sumer problems that like d d exist on Wikipedia or some shit? Look at that, just put a fucking paw in there! Who does that? Oh my god. It's fucked up. Um. Yeah, whatever. So that's move three. AI is now is move four. Well, I, why did it not kill my Rook? What the fuck? King not allowed to kill in this. I guess this works and doesn't waste my gold general. Right. So this is move. This is the last move, so I'm supposed to win now, <laughs> which of course, I ain't. <laughs> this is the winning move here. Ah, shit. Yeah, this is fucked up. Nah, I mean, I finished the first opponent again, my Kim Duncan, we learned more, but really, I am... No, I, I'm getting destroyed. There's no way I'm getting this done. I was hoping for another three move one at, at worst. That's the worst thing that was gonna happen, but this is way more trouble than that. And now it's gonna let me try over and over again, but each time the puzzle, as you can see, is different. You're gonna have two rooks a night. Where's this king? This is his king. Wait, I don't have shit. I have a lance. As silver generals. It's kind of interesting, actually. This is a seven move one? Okay. So I could put a rook here, but the truth is, my silver general cannot actually move to the right. So the knight's just, the king is just gonna escape. But, um. Sounds funny. What about threatening with a fucking... Knight first. This is this seems like one I would like to learn. And then this. Oh yeah, promote that bitch. Now he has to eat or run away with the king. Okay, now I have two rooks and a gold general to win it. Seems to me like you want one here. No, oh, that was dumb of me. He can get that with the knight. Fuck. Hope he doesn't. Yeah, okay, I'm, that was fucked up. Damn it. Fuck. I want to try that again. Yeah, this is the last move, so, I mean... <laughs> fuck, man. Seriously? Seriously, man? What the fuck? Just, just, whatever. Jeez. Like, you have to kill him on that move. Oh. Is this the same? This is the same. Hey, cool. Maybe they got less for the seven. I mean, once you learn them, though, they're always the same, right? As long as you learn one, you just have to learn one. It just, it just takes time. I can't waste this opportunity, though. It's one in the morning, dude. Oh. <laughs> it's one in the morning, dude. Just, just, dude, leave me alone. Oh, leave me alone a little bit.
All right, so... Let me just try that again, but without fucking up with the night. Right. Wait, he just did something different! What do you mean? He's not even consistent on it? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You must absolutely be fucking clowning right now. Wait, didn't I just win? Just, like, right now? Didn't I just win right now? I could put a rope down here or threaten with the... Yeah, I mean... Okay. Oh, that's not a check on the king. <sighs> I'm supposed to get the cross. Because it's not a check on the king. Computing. <laughs> Computing. Hello? Hello? What? Wait! White. Okay, in this tumor problems, you're not required to... You're not required to do that? Alright, that might be easier then. I just got two more moves to kill the king and see if that works. I'm not required to keep the king in check every time, or is it gonna punish me after for that? I mean, didn't I just literally now just win now? Yeah. Okay, uh... It's, are we gonna celebrate today, or what? Let's find out. Son of a fucking bitch, of course. Forgot he had every unit in the game. I should've put that there, and then I would've won, dude. God damn it. Should just put it on the side. That the rules are to just have the king in check on the final move? This is way easier than I thought. Oh my god. This is not regular Tsume Shogi puzzles like Wikipedia. Okay, I didn't really read that. She's talking about money now, so that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is hard to read, and even translate on the phone is too fast, and there's no kanji at all. Man. How fast? Oh, I got bonked in the head. Yeah, this is unreadable. You would have to take your time off stream to try. Whoa! <laughs> this game is awesome. Taller D, what's up? I uh, work out every day. How are you? Welcome back. It's been a while. Second opponent, Mike Ito. It's the old man. It's a play on another character from the um, baseball anime. A slime is promising me a slime. Oh, hell yeah. Man, second opponent. So how does it work like with the items? Of course, my items are gonna be all reset, right? Whoa, 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 how many days have I been without wearing pants, panties? A year, seven days, one day? <laughs> I mean, kaite. Uh, what's that? That's that's wearing, right? Because with no kanji, it's hard. It's much easier to read with kanji. Let's use the camera on Google. 
What have I changed my pants to? Yeah, okay. So this is like how many days since I've changed my pants or my underwear? What do you guys think? A year, seven days, a day? Let's go with... Um, its name is Mike Ito. Is it clean or not? It makes it sound like it's gross. Let's go seven days. Is that not good? Judging by the sound effects, no. Okay, it's a battle. Oh! Differently colored board, yet same song. Okay, well, how does this work? I, okay, you don't retain shit. Hmm, I see. Let me just see if the demon killer strat works on him. So far, so good. Is the AI gonna be like I I I I I I suspect that the, the the AI in the first opponent was too good, chat. I suspect that every opponent has the same AI. So as soon as you understand like a strategy that works, so you get good enough, you just beat the game. Or at least the road is paved for that to happen. So the demon killer strat wants you to fork those two pawns now. And the previous AI would always trade the bishops at this point. Which this AI is not doing, so we can actually go along with the Demon Killer Strat for the first time, which is why I still am not offline, because it's fucking way past one in the morning now. Let's see. Uh... Okay, no. Huh. Here's my notes in that strat. So that threat is that, so they want to defend that C5 square moving a silver general towards it. Well, they move the gold general, but anyways, my notes say that then you want to move a pawn forward to join the knight. So like this one. And then white will move the pawn in front of my own knight? Is this working? Yo, Mike Kim Dung, thanks. Yeah, this is, oh, okay, they're doing something different. So what they want me to do after they do that is to trade the bishop and drop it here. Attacking like a silver thing that they put down. This is just not the same as <laughs> what my notes are saying. It doesn't seem like the d d demon killer shit's working out. Yo, Tyler, tell me something more, Tyler, my man. What's up with the working out questions? I mean, I know I just look that good. Thanks. That's, I know. I know, it's amazing. It's fantastic. Uh, what the fuck do I want to do? It's just castling as king and shit. I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna copycat. Okay. AI really likes that bishop trade. Okay. Squats? Um... The subscriber goal. Basically, every five subs, I am tested body and mind as a Mega Dry Hero to do squats with a 70 kilo each solid titanium steel stools. But otherwise, I don't do squat. I already got like a Super Saiyan legs, dude. My legs are absurdly powered with no workout at all. Um, so that's extra. Today I did uh, push-ups, another shield like that, a bunch of other shield like that, with the resistance pain. I worked out at home and then I went running for one hour. Actually, it had been a while since I did go running. Like four or five days, maybe. So, I got this bishop, huh? Cool. Shall I drop it? Just, just, just fuck around, chat. I mean, just drop it. Cardio? What kind of cardio? Uh, I mean, what did I think was gonna happen there? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> of me. That was very dumb. Um, maybe I just give up. It's, it's late. I can't really be playing and shit. But hey, uh... 
Isn't this a thing I can do now for free? Let's do that. If this goes bad, I'll just use the item. I still have the item. 5Ks? Stack kilometers? I don't measure anything. When I run, I just measure time. I run for one hour in the park. And I get a nice sweat. And I feel good. Uh, kilometers. Yeah, when I used to run with a smartwatch or whatever, yeah. Yeah, it's not too... How much... How long do you run... For, how long, how long do that, does that take you? That's not too much, is it? Because I used to... I, I think... I rem, it was many years ago, but I think I remember I would be running around, like, four kilometers. But it would be a lot of ups and downs and slopes and turns and shit. That counts more, I suppose. Where I used to live. What I think of American food... <sighs> Man, American barbecue is... You can't beat that fucking meat cooking process shit. It's not common at all here. I am jealous of that. Uh, otherwise, American food, all the stereotypes apply to you. It's too much fat, too much butter, too much sugar, everything. Portions too big. Prices too high. And whenever you try to do pasta or pizza, I want to kill myself. 35 minutes? That sounds like a great pace. You run hard? I don't run hard. You don't lift, bro. OG Sega Steve. Um, no. I don't have any weights or workouts I do. At most, I use the elastic band to do the equivalent of what you are pathetically referring to, you Pele lover motherfucker. Would you say, OG Sega Steve, that Pele is the Mega Drag game you're most tied in? OG Sega Steve used to work as a tester at Sega and, um,. <laughs> Shared a story about testing the probably the worst Mega Drag game of all, Pilla. In Texas. Ooh. What's the BBQ capital? Texas as a whole? Every day I watch Kill Tony, which is a live podcast stand up comedy show live in Austin, Texas. If you're in Austin, you should check that. Zoriat, welcome back, Zoriat. We're on the second opponent for the first time. Um, let's fuck around. I got a Lance killed. Uh, that's nice. Surely fuck around with that. Kansas City BBQ. Sports Ballers, welcome back. Kansas City. Where is that? Where is Kansas City? Is, it, is, is Kansas City not in Texas? Teach me some geography. There's too many states, they're all the same. Blue Scarf! Grande. Eh, shoggy, gazzolo, lo sto imparando adesso. Bentornado. Grande. Um. Macello. Però sono arrivato al secondo nemico adesso, per la prima volta mi sono contentissimo. È tardi in culo, devo staccare 20 minuti fa. You got your name in several Genesis manuals? Cool. <laughs> It's in Missouri? Oh. Uh, well, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I mean, it's too late. Right now, I'm just fucking gonna try to play as fast as possible until it's over. I do have this item, though, that can make me flip the board, which is interesting. You were happy when I beat the first opponent? Nice. I was too, because this stream was looking like it was hopeless, but we got some huge progress. I figured out how the stupid fucking puzzles actually work. You're not supposed to have the king in check at every move. You're just supposed to have him in check on the last move. Not even checkmate, just check. That's way easier. That's way it's easier. It's all good. I mean, you know, that's the kind of stuff I would love to travel to places with, you know, and travel to food, to eat food. Like the the traveling to America, to the States, that what you the, the kind of stuff that you guys are mentioning now about BBQ and shit like that, it would be my most wanted thing to do there. Likewise, wherever I go, I just want to eat the fucking food there. And what's better to eat in United States of America if not fucking BBQ adjacent sort of stuff? Ah, uh, yeah, so Blue Scarf knows where the Tsume Shogi puzzle shit is. Yeah, apparently you don't have to be holding the king in check at every of the moves, like Wikipedia says. Yeah, see, but what changes if not like the condiments or the marinade or the seasoning? The BBQ processes are gonna be the same, like you got the big smokers or not? The big... that We don't have that shit here, right? Authentic Mexican food in Texas, nice. Mm. Oh yeah, it's in Yakuza, cool. I wonder how many people that play Yakuza learned how to play Shogi for the fuck of it. And not just to get like achievements and shit. 
And the tile font is the the, 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 the font on the tiles is shit, yeah. Woods, preps, cut some meat. Uh, yeah, isn't that nice? That's very nice. When you mentioned the wood, I got really touched. And I'm not fucking around, like... Because that's not an answer I expected, but it's the nicest answer. Because it's just a fucking product of the land, and then you use that just to fucking, you know, light the fire up. But then it makes a difference, right? And, uh... On the ultimate flavor... Uh, I guess just the smoke, though. Because otherwise it's going to be a matter of how fast it lights up and the chili there, or how it cooks, but... You don't in Texas? Well, who knows? Hanafuda, yeah, there's no Hanafuda games on Mega Drive, but always been uh, curious. You bought a Hanafuda deck? Nice. I'm really much on budget, but after my first stream I was in bed. Ah, oh, fuck, Shoggy looks hard. I wanted to buy a Shoggy set. And like you can buy on Amazon, right? You can buy those uh, stupid ones that you just put uh, down and they're like magnetic even, and then you can play for like 12 bucks. But like for, to get an actual cool one with the wooden pieces, you have to buy this like little table for it and it's 50 bucks. So I ended up not buying anything. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Hey, thank you, Mike, I'm done. I will soon, hopefully. Mexican food. Yeah, it's something. Uh, there's something I don't like about Italy, uh, and, and you know, I'm gonna tell you now what I don't like about food in Italy is that we have so much of a great variety of ingredients, culinary tradition, and recipes and whatnot that finding for a metropolis like Rome, like one of the biggest by far, probably top five, easily top ten biggest cities in the world. Or, I mean, it's a metropolis of insane importance. But our food is so good that it doesn't leave enough space, as I would like, for international food. So, like, if I want to have Texas, uh, Tex-Mex, or want to have a Mexican food, or if I want to have American BBQ, there's going to be maybe only, like, three places, and of those, who knows if one of those is good. You know? And I have to look for that shit. Damn it. 50 is a reasonable price. Is it the blue scarf? You think that? 50 euro? A reasonable price for a little... Couple pieces of wood? 50 euros. 50 euro is a reasonable price. I mean, maybe I'm getting older, Chad. This year, I know, you know, some white hairs coming off here and there, but... 50 euros? That used to be a hundred thousand lire. And you could buy so many Golador candies with that shit. Gone hard. Gone hard. The red heat. I love smoked flavors. I like scotch whiskey for that reason, mostly. Mm, Rome is awesome city. Ah, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I won't deny it. Uh, but as with every Rome person will tell you, living in it is not the best because of traffic and shit. But I love Rome. It's dirty, you know, there's a lot of bad shit to be said. Um, pizza and Chinese food in East Coast was amazing. I bet the Chinese food was amazing. Could call a lumberjack and ask him. Golador. <laughs> Man, those used to cost... When the Euro came, Italy got fucked. When the Euro currency came in 2001 or whatever it was, everything started costing exactly double. So when I think of that and then COVID and then the war shit and then the prices of everything going up, man, you go back 20 years, well, a bit more than 20 years, because Euro was like, what, 24 years ago, man, man, I could, I could, I could live off of the money I make on Twitch thanks to you guys. <laughs> if I had a time machine, but I could stream still in the present future. <laughs> Calmex is something I've never heard of. Oh, Sega Steve, sadly. Yeah, sports ballers. Yeah, old cities have problems. Old persons have problems and shit like that. So don't fucking, you know, everybody find something to complain about. The trick is to never complain. Complaining never helps anybody. And nobody likes a fucking complainer. 20 cents. Yeah, 20 euro cents, which is so much more. Zoriad, are you Italian? Did I know that you were? Man, I feel like there's way more Italians than there used to be in this watching this stream. 
hunting season room. Oh, I have a little... I have a... Yeah, you are Italian. I'm looking at your fucking chat history. Cool. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Um, I have a little bit of a uh, boar. What do you call in English other names to say that? Oui, oui. Is that just boar? Does it have doesn't it have other words? And I have um, Taco Bell. <laughs> What's up, Twitch Discord? <laughs> Hog, right? No, not pig or pork. No, no, no. Game meat. Machine gun game meat. Hey, I've seen your nickname around Twitch Discord. Must be in on the chats. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Taco Bell is a food chain. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, yeah, I ransacked my mother's fridge on Sunday, uh, and I got this little pack of boar sausages. You know, those, that's the kind of shit that's good, even if it's low quality. But I had eaten two of those while I was there, so I have still one on the fridge. I oinked? No. The old man funny. <laughs> yeah, he is. I wonder, um... What the answer was to his quiz. Uh, anyhow, I get so happy when you guys talk food in my chat. I really do. It's just fucking. You guys have no idea how happy I am to be streaming on Twitch alone for the fact that you stupid fucks stopping in chat are from all the other parts of the world. And I say it's stupid fucks for no fucking reason, but it would add to the fucking balance the niceness that was coming out of my mouth. And like, you know. Cultural exchange, dude, is so nice. But when it comes down to food, <laughs> it's the best. If I could just fucking eat all the food from the world whenever I want it, you know? That's the upside and downsides. There's places like freaking uh, London where the food is so shit. Like, you got fish and chips and fish and chips, and then you got freaking shepherd's pie and... A couple things in between, like blood pudding, and then that's it. That's your entire culinary tradition. That's a downside. The upside of that is in London, you will find all sorts of extremely high quality and nice international uh, restaurants, right? And um, uh, Indian food as well, because uh, colonization and shit like that. Mm. You had a uh, artichoke pizza. Ooh, does that have a particular name? Blue scarf, artichoke pizza. I'm translating here. <laughs> All I had was pastiera, so as long as I had that, it was cool. I posted on Discord. I have a food channel on Discord now. <laughs> Ten million hot cross buns. You guys keep mentioning the hot cross buns. I don't know what that is. This is kind of sweet. Check that out. I pressed. I have fat fingers. By the way. Oh, that seems good. Seems good. I just had this. Um, what's a good? This is a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, man. This is such a nice pie. It's from Naples. I'm in Rome. Naples is down below. It's the other sec. The other one of the two places known for pizza in the world is Rome and Naples. I don't like Naples pizza, by the way. So this is great and ultimate because of the grain. You see these bits? Some of them is going to be like candied orange and shit, but mostly it's grain, and I like that. It's so good. It's a, such a simple pie, but it's so good because it's made with cooked grain uh, bits. I'm not sure how to call that in English. You have Vegemite. I like Vegemite. That's another thing I had when I used to work at some... Um, priest place that was Australian managed or whatever, Ash. So they had Vegemite for the guests in the morning. And that's the only time I had it. I was like, whoa. I like this strong flavor. Of course, you gotta have it with bread, but whatever. Sometimes I think you guys who live in the various nations of Europe don't know how good you have it in comparison to the USA, Lamau. What do you mean? Are we still talking about food? Spotted dick? Yeah, Tyler D. I agree. I agree. You have a whole one in the fridge, blue scarf? Damn. My mom's got her back busted the other day, so she didn't make it. It's the only thing she's good at doing, damn it. She bought one. It wasn't that good. 
but luckily yesterday I went to my cousin's place and one of our friends went back home to grab his pastiera remnants, so we slain that. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Mm, cinnamon, I love cinnamon. Chicken soup, Gonzo Wookie. Are you putting something in it? I love making soup because I love. I never do it, but I love making soup because I have a lot of spices. So you can add uh, a bunch of shit to that. Hot cross buns in the toaster. Why don't I like Naples pizza? It's too soft and marshmallowy. Haven't tried some I'm supposed to try, but it tends to be like that with a big border. And, you know, it tends to be soft and chewy. I like a little bit of crunch on the outward bite and then soft in the, in, in the inside, on the inside. Vegemite in a burger? What the fuck? Vegemite in a burger. Damn. Yeah, there's another, th that's Marmite. What's the difference between Vegemite and Marmite? I can't, I can't like buy Vegemite. If I wanted to buy Vegemite, what am I gonna do? I gotta find where they sell it. If I go on Amazon and I type Vegemite, well, actually... Whoa! Whoa, this is new! Is a Prime one? I can buy it! Oh, dude, it's expensive. Nah, it's too expensive, dude. I mean, you're not gonna use it as much. I should try it. I should try it. But that's expensive. 12 bucks? It's just... It's just 200 grams. I mean, I buy the same quantity... A bit... More quantity of peanut butter, which I ate every day, cost me... Three bucks, two ninety nine. Thirteen bucks, dude, for a little jar. This is a little jar. Uh, oh, I guess you you gotta do this. Six pack. That's like half the price. Shit. Wait, what about this? Uh, twenty bucks. So that's ten each. That's not as good as a deal as this. Yeah. So this would be the best one. Damn it. Can it be the cinnamon in my coffee? No, but I have an espresso machine with a caramel flavored coffee I like to drink in the morning. Cinnamon in my coffee, Ash. Ash, you have to understand I drink we drink coffee in such a small cup. In the morning I like milk. So cinnamon with that would work, but I already have a flavored capsule that does caramel flavored uh, thingy. Toast with butter. <laughs> Fucking butter everywhere. <laughs> What's the difference with Marmite? Hmm. You live in Rome? You're gonna bring me some Vegemite? From where? <laughs> you make bomb pesto chicken? What's the bomb part about? Oh, because it's good? Pesto chicken? We don't really mix those two things here. <laughs> You're gonna have chicken with garlic? Man, that's how I know you're from the States. Chicken with garlic and basil? Ah, it's, it's, I, I don't know, man. Celery, carrots, jalapeno, habanero with some corkscrew pasta for a change. Oh, your soup? Mm, that's a spicy-ass soup. And garlic, of course. <laughs> uh, yeast. Oh, pastiera. Nice. They're similar. Let me try typing uh, Marmite. Uh, it's the same... Um, same kind of costs. This is a kilo and a half for 42. Like, nutrition-wise, what's this good for? I could. This is the kind of shit I could get addicted to. But it's probably if it's yeast, it's probably not good to consume that much. Six pack. Seems like the best deal is that. So expensive, dude. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Look at that tub! A 600 gram tub? That's more than half a kilo. Times six. Do the math. That just seems to be slightly cheaper than that. It's a hundred bucks of Marmite. I, I, I'm not gonna... I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> God damn. How do Italians consume Nutella? Uh... Uh... 
Um, Guybrush, great question. Um, uh, Italians eat these a lot. I think you guys call them crusks. And this is like the one typically, traditionally, anything Italians will actually put butter on. You want to do butter and then marmalade, like this kind of shit, jam, fruit jam. Uh, but I guess just sandwich, like, you know, just bread. I don't, I don't buy either. So... Mm. Peanut butter toast with Nutella. I could soup peanut butter every day in copious amounts. Uh, I always accompany it with fruit. Be it actual fruit or a fruit juice that doesn't have sugar in it. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the bar, you will always find, like, a croissant with Nutella in it. Yeah, blue scarf is right. Blue scarf is right. Pure oil and sugar. Well, it's hazelnut. It's hazelnut chocolate cream. That's what it is. Hazelnut chocolate cream. Uh, my ex-girlfriend's youngest sister would put Nutella into everything. Had some spaghetti, broke it in half and threw it in some lukewarm water, then turn it on. You even ended that sentence with a full stop. Nobody believes you, Toplin. Oh yeah, crap. Piadina, that's that's wild. People always ask me in chat, what's that dessert? Pizza. And this is like the only one. Oh my god. Alright, well. That, that, that's that. <laughs> Damn. Pandistele. Yeah, those are cookies. God damn it, all the Italians in chat just lost a year of life by looking at that freaking picture with the fries on top of the pizza, pixel turkey, hello day. That was not a I generated. That's not the first time in over the years that picture fucking I managed to escape Goatsy in 34 years. That picture with the French fries and the Nutella pizza haunts me. Every time. <laughs> I should I should wrap this up, chat. I've been talking 30 minutes about food and I love it. But let me uh, either throw the match here or, um, you know, and, and then try and use the item that flips it, not the cat, you know, or uh, do an attack. Let's see how this goes. So that's a silver general. Uh, this is a bishop. I could, you know, threaten that, but this fucker is there, so... I do have a lance, wow. Having a lance this soon is pretty... This early is pretty cool. Um, I think if I do this, it's just gonna... Let me just be pesky and do this. Okay, what's he got? A pawn them. What's my favorite food? How, how, how would I answer you? I don't have a favorite food. I like co to cook and eat pasta. I don't know, man. I'm a I'm a dude from Rome. I like Roman dishes a lot. Roman pasta, pagliata. I always rave about pagliata. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's the one I want to talk about because it's the most Roman thing and the most hardcore thing in the entirety of the Italian food tradition. So uh, look that up. Is the intestine of a young veal or lamb? Typically veal that has only ever eaten the milk of its mother. It's hardcore. It's brutal black death metal. It's just, you know, it's clean intestine with milk in it. You wrap it up in donuts, you simmer it in tomato sauce. And you can do pasta with it as well. You get only pasta, although it's just pecorino cheese and a little bit of it. It the 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 the, the, the milk. Ah! Alright. Keto bars and water. Dude, more like ketamine bars and fucking speed. That guy's streaming 14 hours? Yeah. Oh, Rick, what's your strategy to stream that long? Well, Godi, you mean you gotta be bold and have airy arms? No, actually, what he says is this. He says this to me. He says this. Well, Godi, I find that it helps not to eat a lot before the stream, and then you have more energy to stream. Yeah. God damn it. Guess what's a side effect of drugs? Either eating too much or not eating enough. <laughs> that guy does. I'm just kidding. Okay, rig is cool. 
Rick is cool. He doesn't do drugs. But I swear he does drugs. I swear. <laughs> um, he didn't know. Smiling big. Cool. All right. So I moved that thing there. So then now it can actually attack me. But here's the cool thing. Here I'm safe. <laughs> Rig is very cool. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'm safe there. Okay, I got this lance. The lance is a cool unit that can only attack straight in a line. And only straight. Does rig rig stuff? Uh, yep. Probably. So, my plan now is to attack here, where the king is, and then put a lance behind my freaking pawn. I still have my bishop there doing kind of nothing. What if I... Oh, that's not a bishop. What am I saying? Uh, I do have my rook here doing nothing. Ooh, he's moving that, of course. He's, he's defending that. Which I'm doing. The thing I'm doing is defending it. <laughs> if it can... if it, Yeah, okay. That's the right play. So he's gonna eat that now, unfortunately. But uh, this is where I do my move! Whoa! Lance comes into play right here, right now. Boom. So now I can't eat that or I will punish with my lands. This is cool. It's way too late for me to be playing. <laughs> I should not be playing. But, uh, hey, cool. It just ate my pawn, I guess? Whatever, let's go attacking that pawn. So now if he attacks my pawn there, I will counter with my lands. Wow, this is going all incredibly according to plan. Guess what this is? This is a check on the king. So now he has to move the king because he cannot kill my thingy. What he can also do is put a pawn in front of my lens. Which used to be his lens, by the way, that he had on the top right. And that's exactly what he's doing. Okay. So if I take it with my... Well, that doesn't really attack me. I'm not, like, scared. And guess what? I can do this. <laughs> uh, so if I do this, uh, he can play that pawn. I can do that. And then he kind of just can... Uh, whoa. Um, do I want to play that pawn? Yeah. Yeah, I want to play it. I don't need to punish. Yeah, I do. Otherwise, it's not a check. Whoa! I did not see that coming. Holy shit. Holy shit. What, what was that move for? I mean, I could just do this now and it's a check on the king. And my bishop is safe. Oh my god. Yeah, of course I want to promote. So now that moves like a golden general would. Are we going to win? Whoa! That's huge. This is huge. <laughs> I can kill the rook. I mean, I'm, 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 doing, I'm winning so hard. This does not even make sense. This is hugely worth it. Uh, yeah, this point is far in, just... Oh my god, I just won the game. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't. No, but that's cool. He can kill it with the golden general. He has to. Wow, that was so much profit. What was it? Where's the other bishop? Oh, that's mine. Yeah, I mean, I got the bishop, I got his rook. I'm winning big time. And it's 50 minutes past my stream close time, but... Uh, whatever. Let's see this through. It would be such a shame not to. Second opponent for the first time. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. My favorite food. Man, I, you know what I haven't had in a lot other than good big steak? Uh, pizza. 
And this is gonna sound like atrocious, but um I found a place nearby I can walk to that does like all products for people that uh are like allergic to gluten. How do you guys call that in English? We have a word here. I think it's celiac in English too. And they make pizza too, and I kinda need to um well, it's not for me, but, you know, I want to try that, but I haven't had pizza. I'm trying to... I think I had pizza once this year, and it was when I was over somebody's place, and they ordered some for the both. I just did not eat pizza the entire year. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, I, I can defeat him or get destroyed in the process, Blue Scarf. That's kind of how it goes. Well, obviously, what I should do now is eat that Silver General. Why not? And then maybe play my Rook, because this is free. It's a free kill. In Rome? What do you mean? Wait, how did you manage to do what? Oh, not eating pizza? Um, I haven't been uh, ordering food at all and shit. I, uh, you know, saving... Whoa! That's hardcore. <laughs> from that far away? Yeah, I just need to move. I could play a pawn, but... Uh, I think this is fine. Yeah, but some of it sucks. I mean, I have good ones. I like. But, you know. I still have my rook locked here. Like, I'm ravaging so many units here. Why fucking stop? Two pawns. With those pawns alone, I could take on the lands. Pizza religiously every Sunday. Mm. Do you also have beer with it? If I eat pizza and I don't drink beer, I feel like, what's the point? What's the point? Yeah. I won't have that, like, alone. It has to be a, an occasion. You know? Ooh. He's trying to fuck me up with the lands. Wow, that was actually smart. I would undo, but I don't have it. Hmm. Damn. That was pretty, pretty smart of you. Damn it. Just give him the pawns, try and save the gold general. Or just fuck it and... If I sacrifice the gold general, that's the problem. The... Uh, the lance is gonna kill me and then I have no answer to the lance either. Beer. Italian beer? Yeah, I don't bother. That's shit. Peroni is just crap. It's the basic commercial beer. Just don't do it. <laughs> no alcohol? No, you can't. Makes sense. Shogino Hoshi outfit. I don't have it. Why? <laughs> For all this shit, yeah. I mean, there's better ones that came out now with that brand, but not that good. What do I do? Well, this is freeing up my rook. I actually like that. F whatever, dude. Sacrifice this shit. Deal with it later with a pawn. The headband? He doesn't have a headband. Does he have a headband? Beep, 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 So now I'm in trouble. But it should be fine like this. However, I could just attack him instead, you know? I 
Yeah, no, I wanna get this shit out. Ah, fuck it. Alright. Defend. Ooh, I have a nice idea to defend this. <laughs> I'ma put a... Fuck, do I wanna waste a knight like this? I need the knight to attack. Chat. Alright, I'll put the silver general down. This kinda pisses me off, though. If I win this, it's such a major breakthrough in the perceived difficulty of the game, dude. Like, insane. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now, if he had a rook to play, it could put me in trouble on the left of the king. Okay, he's moving his own king. Fuck, this shit's in the way. I wanted to move my own rook. I got a lance to play a knight. Another rook, by the way. It's my bishop there as well. Right now, I could play a rook right here. I just don't want to... Uh, I don't want him to move over there. I had the situation so nicely put on the right here. I guess I can just keep ravaging all of those freaking pawns, huh? Rook here to check the king. Ah, Lance would do the same effect. So I could put a Lance behind this pawn and then attack that pawn. Or, you know. I think that's a better play here. Just attack where the king is right now. Instead of getting getting free pawns I don't need right now, I can get later. I have no idea what the AI can do now. I don't. I have no idea what the AI will do. Okay, that's a silver general. He's actually defending those two pawns. Well, now I'm gonna attack the left side though. So there goes that my chance of getting those two pawns for free right now. That's okay. I can still attack him with this, and that would work actually. You know, I could, you know. So many things I can do right now. But I'm gonna go where the king is. And by the way, I could move my freaking thing here first. But I think that's not as good. Alright, here we go. Now, it's gonna take that pawn with the pawn, probably. But I have all the pawns to play in the same spot and the lands behind. So he's not going to do that because he understands the risk. And uh, plays the knight there instead. To try and attack my bishop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I turn into Zoyberg, but only when I play Shoggy. It's never happened before. I got this freaking rook. And I can play it. So that if he moves the knight away, it's the, the king is dead. <laughs> um, but at that point, does it make sense to play here? Nah, the king will just escape. Play here, so it's even defending that. Boom. Super Ninja Des, what are you? What are you? What? Are you, what, what I, I, it's the second. It's the second. It's the first. It's, it's the first time we see the second opponent. Damn it! That's a lot to show for. Thirteen hours into my first Shoggy video game ever. What do you think? This is a joke. God damn it! I learned how to play mahjong, I learned how to play baseball on this stream, I learned how to play hockey, I learned how to play football, I learned how to play fucking cricket on this stream, I learned how to play basketball, I learned to play shoggy and found out what the clitoris is, and now you gave me shit for this! I learned about 8 ball, 9 ball, 1 pocket rotation mode and all that shit!
Wait, what did the A do? <laughs> Super Ninja Dash is scolding me. He moved the pawn uh, here. How is that a menace? <laughs> How is that a threat? <laughs> oh my. Oh my g -g -g god. So if I put a knight here, that would defend that square where the king might escape. Then the king would just escape here. But that's the where I want him to go. Oh shit. Does that make sense? Or just pawns here. I mean, I have so many options now to try and trap the king. I don't want the king to escape to the left. If that makes sense. Um, he's attacking this spot. I don't understand how that's good. But I think I should be the one attacking the spot right now. What? Oh, he's gonna do the super move? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what does that do? He stole my pawn. That's the same the other opponent did. Okay, so the pawn I caught, he got. Whatever, that doesn't really alter the flow of the game. <sighs> he plays a bishop there, forking my silver general. That's undefended. And this pawn, this was his, 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 his strategy, huh? And he's leaving this pawn here so I can do... Oh, uh, fuck. He's good. <laughs> well, you know, I could still attack this and force him to move, which he would then move uh, here. Mm. Elvia, I have a copy of Elviento. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. I have to lose a unit to that bishop. Probably. I really don't like it here to the left. Yeah, this is bad. That bishop's bad news. My defense here sucks. There's some units I never moved. Uh, when I bought it, I paid a hundred bucks for it, and then I got fifty bucks refunded. Because it was unfaded on the spine. Uh, that was many years ago, on eBay. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do that nowadays. <laughs> None of that. Um, let's see. I like I could do so much with this bishop alone. Man, this this match is so cool because there's so many options even for me that I have choice paralysis, and I have no idea. Oh yeah, I'm not a, ba a fan of Motoi Sakuraba's FM sound shit because he has that fucking drum that's just grating. Drum samples he uses I find to be shit. So I'm not a fan of El Viento music or you know whatever else he did in Mega Drive, which is a bunch of shit. Ports of 68,000 games versus Arca City, say, Granada, Sankey Axis. You know, it gets better on PC88 for his music for sure. But it's still kind of the drum samples are still pretty grating. So there's a fucking bishop, dude. Man. I cannot deal with this left side, even if I move this bastard. I guess what I can do is move him forwards or utilize pawns to defend. Yeah, this is bad. That that bishop is such bad news. Like, I... It's gonna penetrate me. Like, he's so gonna penetrate me. Unless I just go for the... Unless I just go for the... Man... The... Uh, what I'm trying to say, Chad, is the check on the king. Um, yeah... 
It's it's bad news, man. What can I do? Shit. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Ah, uh, that bishop, dude. It's kind of ruining it. Can I do much? Can't put a pawn here. Put a pawn here, but it wouldn't. Actually, it would help a pawn here. So I, I can put a pawn down here, and then he's forced to eat that, which is still very bad for me. Not as bad. All right, fuck. So he's gonna eat that pawn uh, close to the rook, which is not. Imp what the f fuck are you doing? Attacking my bishop. Why? I mean, just go ahead with your... Uh, ooh. Wait, if I kill this pawn, he's gonna kill me with his bishop, but then I just eat this bishop with my rook. That's trading a bishop for a bishop. Uh, okay. Okay. Realize you don't. I don't have to do that, right? I can just freaking do this and be even more annoying. Because you decided to do that, out of spite, I will do this much more annoying move. Still not even a check. Okay, so you decided to do that, and. Yeah, it's all middle fingers. It's awesome. So, my idea now is this. And he's gonna eat it with the bishop, which I forgot about. But, uh, you know, it's he it sacrificed the bishop for a horse. That's good for me. My strat, listen how good I got. My strat was that I put the knight here to guard this, because I was going to eat this with that, and then the king couldn't defend. So what can the king do? If he moves here, the knight gets him. If he moves forwards, I can chase. And possibly win the game. And this is my attack lane. Look at that. Pawn, freaking um, lance. And now that I take this bishop with this pawn, this freaking gold general cannot attack there. So I am in the shape of my life in this game. It's amazing. Beep, beep. I'm not crazy, Chad. I swear I'm not crazy. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. That's scary because I can either kill it or just move the king here. I feel like if I move the king here, all he needs to do is put a gold general somewhere to be a nuisance. But I'm actually gonna be ballsy and do that. He doesn't have many pieces to be annoying with. Famous last words. Why is it giving me quizzes? Ikutsu? How old am I? 190, 80. I lost. I lost. If you guys missed it, I lost like a bitch. Uh, 90 years old? No. It was not... The age, I guess. What if it's, what if it's in the manual? <laughs> the age. 
Back to the mom, does that mean I would have to do the first opponent again? Is it that... Insane? Let me go back to the old man. It doesn't say the age. Man, it looks as if there's way less opponents than I thought. So there's this two, all the two, and then the final boss. Looks like there's five opponents. What's up, Takada? Five opponents. So... Would I have to go to the first opponent now? How does the game work? No, okay, you go back to the old man. Senkin? Uh... Oh my god, it's a language puzzle. Fill in the sentence where the question mark is. Holy shit. So, Kinwa Nani Kinsen Kin? What? Kaku or Fu? I was getting it wrong. I got sunglasses now, guessing. It's too hard with no kanji. I don't even know what I'm guessing on. Man, you get infinite credits. This game isn't as hard as it seemed to be at first. But it's still gonna be a lengthy endeavor to figure out exactly, like, you know, how to play Shoggy a bit better. But that was another defeat. That was another defeat we sustained at the hands of the second opponent. And when I say that, I actually, that was my first defeat at the hands of that opponent. And if you think that's a sad thing, well, you're fucking wrong. This was a success. The stream was a giant, enormous success. I don't know how long I streamed, but it was worth it. Today, we faced a new opponent. Uh, we learned extremely valuable information on the Shogi Tsume puzzles. So it doesn't matter how long this takes to beat, it doesn't matter if it takes two more weeks, two months, or even a full year. We shall march onwards, sometimes we'll talk shit, somebody will get banned, then we'll talk about food in the meantime, but god damn it, I gotta keep putting my shoggy pieces down, and you better believe and hope that's the only thing I'm gonna put down, because by the gods, when I slam it down, all the pieces go brrrr, my opponents tremble, the ground trembles. Every other Mega Drive game better watch out, cause I'm coming for them. Coming for the retro streamers as well. Watch out, I'm taking the retro category over by storm, I'm gonna beat this game soon. Super General, Golden General, Mother Brain. The Knight, the King, the Bishop, the Rook, the Pawn. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Damn it, all the pieces, I'll promote all the pieces, I'll cheat, I'll use the cat, I'll use the board, I'll use the classic, I'll use my special move with the middle fingers, and then with my middle fingers, I will achieve finally the technique of fucking 